Hey man, say man, reconnected man. We in this chat. We in this thing. We in live this. and direct. I'm with my boy House Phone. My name's Blazzy, and this is Toke, and that's Yuri right there. We wait, man. Yeah, we waiting on Yuri to come sit down, man. What's my up, bad. my boy? What up, What's guys? Up? What up? What up, man? I just want to uh, welcome man. my boys What's back. Wait, what episode are we on? We 18. on episode 18, 18, man. Episode 18, man. This podcast is of age. Starting officially, today. officially, that, you know what damn, I'm saying. Damn, that's this crazy. podcast is legal. This podcast could uh, um, get a driver's no, not driver's license, but buy tobacco. No, no, you got to be 21 in, some, in yeah. some states. In some states, yeah. I nope. think it's still 21. Nope. No, it's only in California. I mean, we 18. Isn't? You could yeah. go to the army. You know. Mm. What else can you do? Um, you go to strip clubs. Go to like eighteen that. and over clubs. Speaking of going to the army, you ever sign like your homies up? Like you ever seen like no. the army niggas? <laughs> yeah. Mall and then just put your homies name and number down. That's I did, funny. I did, <laughs> that shit's I did exactly that, but I signed myself up for JROTC. Oh yeah, I forgot you said that. Didn't, their homie didn't even do it. Nah, Set yeah, I was left cold, bro. You know, um, Sergeant Bradfield would not fuck with me. It was like Full Metal Sergeant Jacket where, where the chubby dude was just sucking his thumb while everyone's nice. like doing push-ups. They found like Pause. a donut in his uh in his case. That's the same shit that happened, man. So I had to get myself at that situation. That's crazy. But man, I, I you know, I spent the whole last 72 hours watching Yuri and Toke uh, <laughs> just be in, a, in an RV and apparently get to it. The, the AC was messed up. Bruh. And uh, the, the toilet, the, the water just started flooding the oh, whole RV. Oh, yes. What? Bruh, let's start from the very beginning. Hold How the, hold the, Yeah, and I also want to start it off with a question, though. This is your mm. appetizer. <laughs> so, like, what made y'all want to go on this I RV? Really? Because it's like on Monday, when I'm, when I'm kicking it on Monday, I'm not like, Oh, let me go in an RV. I wish I had an RV. I explained to y'all. I think have owning an RV is like the most baller thing you could do. Yeah. No, it's terrible. Because that just means that like, <laughs> I think it's the most ball. Like you're rich if you have an RV. That's what I heard. That's what my friends told me. To be honest, I would assume that it probably costs a lot of money to even rent it. If, if I'm facts, facts, not wrong, facts, it was no, pretty facts. expensive. All right. But basically how it started was uh, uh, I was doing this dollar minute stream. And also this You're is like, still doing it. Yeah, I'm still doing it. And we like started it last Thursday on episode lighter. 17. I started at noon. And uh, oh, there's matches right here. But uh, um, here yeah. we are next Thursday. We're officially a week into it. And then we're doing a whole nother podcast. But basically on Sunday, uh, Toke, Ali, my homie Chris, my homie Xander came over and we had a barbecue. I invited you guys too as well. No. no. Yes. He swears. I he did, did I not? You swear we on called, the Bible. We, we called he both swears. of you guys. We called both of you guys. I, have, I got one missed call from Yuri. No, I called you twice. I never see, I never even like see. I'm tired. Of, Look, like my phone's on do not disturb right now. I, yeah. call you, I called mm. you twice, literally, because I knew tired, it was. I'm tired of the casual homies. Like, you know, they said that there's like a, a, a new generation of sassy men, man. We need to have sassy friends. You need to apply pressure, yeah, Yuri. Yeah. Call a me new twice. Generation yeah, I need, sassy, no, man. for real. I need, yeah, f like, I, I want to feel wanted. Oh, yeah. my God. I okay, want to so feel I didn't call you guys 10 times You each. only call yes. me once? What are you, Uber Eats? Yeah, I want to feel chased. <laughs> I feel like if I call you guys too many times, it's going to be like, what the, f Yuri, bro? Like, why are you right. blowing up my you, phone? I'd rather you call me more times than less times. Okay. <clears> well, <throat> I'm sorry, guys. But, anyways, <laughs> we had this barbecue, and then we all got extremely drunk. And like around, I swear, bro, like around one, two in the morning, oh, uh, I had set up this goal on this dollar ministry, but if we reached $500, I was going to rent a Ferrari on Hollywood Boulevard because you can get them for like 20, 30 minutes for like 200, 300 bucks or some shit like that. So I was going to do that. You could like rent the whole day for like a thousand or something. Nah, no, for like, like it, yeah, it was, it's more, yeah, it's like 1200, 1300, but basically that's what I was looking into, right? I was mm -hmm. like, oh, we reached 500. I was like, how much would it be to have it for a day rather than 20, 30 minutes? I saw it was 1200. And then uh, somehow one of us brought up the idea of like, oh, if, the, if you're going to spend that much money on a Ferrari for, you know, just a day, what if we got an RV and went to Vegas for I a love, couple of days? And it was, I love that that frame of thought because like <laughs> those are those are two de yeah. different spectrums. I think of the, the, chat of have, the chat might have influenced yeah, the yeah, thought process. Exactly. The chat definitely influenced it. But lot. have bro, you done an RV stream in the past? I've never done an RV. I've never been in RV at all. <laughs> I've never done some last Facts. minute uh, like crazy vacation idea. Like I'm not a last minute guy. I like to plan yeah, ahead no, of time. Sure. I like to pack my stuff, be ready, have all every like know where I'm like I, I want to have everything like in order. Right. You think chaos, I kind of like that though. Chaos kind of drives you to get like a little like chaos does you know like it does we'll like kind of like way. make you think outside the box make you be more creative yeah but like bro yeah we like super last minute very drunk out of our minds thought of this idea the next we that night fucking got the rv 
the next morning we had to pick up the RV and then head to Vegas. And Vegas, how long does it take to get there, guys? Uh, just, I would say like three and a half to four yeah, hours. Yeah, I would say three to six hours. You know how long it took us to get there? How long? Guess. Just guess. Like six hours. More. How the fuck is it? More than, <laughs> yeah, oh God. More than six hours? Bruh. Nigga, did y'all, did y'all take a detour to another state? Oh I have no clue. I was asleep, bro. <laughs> And next thing you know, they were like, nigga, it took, it took them 12 hours. I'm like, bro, what Wait, time is it? Y'all wasn't together? No, I was sleeping in the back. He was sleeping in the back. For 12 back. hours. We left at 2 yeah, p.m. Man. and we got oh there at 2 a.m. Wait, what? Yeah. You How? left at 3 p.m.? No, 2 p.m. Oh, we, that's why. And we got back and we got there at 2 a.m. Okay, so. It was mad traffic. Too. Okay, I was, I was about to say, I'm going to guess that A, it was traffic. Traffic and... Traffic and fucking uh, what you call? Oh, here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Yuri is uh buzzing in our our uh, I don't behind think, the scenes correspondent. I don't think that traffic excuse. No, but that type of uh, definitely uh, not, definitely not. But I will say, if you add in a couple of stops, couple of gas station breaks, bathroom breaks, content breaks, lift you, breaks, you gotta skate of, a bit. Especially, no, Yuri, I think. Rocking with you, man. What up? There might be some issues with. Yeah, uh, I feel like you would take a lot of like smoking and a lot of skate breaks. I no. Well, I uh, well, luckily Toke also smokes a lot, and I feel like everyone else they wanted to smoke as well. So it's like yeah. we were all, all also wanted to take smoke breaks because it was a lot to do the whole thing. Why can't y'all just drive and smoke? Yeah, we had be we had Horizon in the car. Yes. Uh, so and plus, this. plus the RV shit was like, do not smoke in here. Oh yeah, yeah the RV. Was like, yeah, it no. probably also said, don't shit on the floor in here, though, right? Oh my oh, god. Here we go. We, here we go. <laughs> well, you know, they're not going to find out about that. Uh, Wait, hopefully. what? Bro. Yeah, we're gonna you get pulled there. a Blasi? We, no, we're going to no, get there. We're going to get there. Blasi just pulled a Blasi in the office earlier. So. Yeah, there was little, there's still a, uh, remains of it right there. <laughs> That's literally your dog Beans poop. No. Beans yeah. hasn't been here in. He wasn't even okay, here okay, last okay. week either. Okay, okay. Man. So wait. So you said it took twelve hours. Twelve hours. We get there at. We get there actually. Re actually, realistically, we get to the area at midnight. But it takes us two hours of driving around from parking lot to parking lot to find a place to park the RV. We finally find a place to park the RV, and then we're all just. Y'all didn't, didn't park the RV wherever y'all was staying at. Well, we were trying to find a place to stay at, basically. Uh, that oh, Mr. Mister, I'm planned. I like to make sure I know where I'm going. Usually, yeah, but this is what I'm saying. We're all drunk. And we're just so like, let's go. Yeah, 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 it was too spontaneous. You spontaneously went to Vegas? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought y'all were planned out. No, about that's it. what I'm telling you. On Hell Sunday no. night, on Sunday, one, two, like Sunday night, like one, two in the morning, we were drunk as hell, all thought of this idea. And then the next day on Monday, we left. Y'all ain't like spontaneously inspired to like look for a spot to stay at? Yeah. <laughs> y'all wasn't, in, wasn't spontaneously <laughs> inspired to just but hop like, on hotel. But, tonight, but like, oh god, <laughs> book a fucking we, we're room. Think, we're thinking like, all right, boom, we got an RV. We can just pull up anywhere, and just chill. Exactly, like side of the strip or Max House or something like that. But then you realize, <laughs> <laughs> I would have for sure pulled up to Max front lawn with the RV. Yeah, facts. <laughs> but bro, you realize with an RV, especially with my stream setup, like I we you need a, like an electric plug-in, and like certain RV parks offer an electric plug-in, and also you need like a water plug-in to take showers and shit. Yeah. So you kind of oh, yeah. need an RV had a spot. shower in there? Yeah, we had, yeah. we had a shower in there, a toilet, a big ass bed, like a yeah. top bunk bed, a smaller, you know, bottom bed. Yeah, one bed and it was like six or three beds. Oh. Yeah. Oh shit, my bad. My but bad. were y'all like really like going through the strip like that or so on one night we did, we like we like walked through the sh actually not uh yeah. one night we like skated through, but one day yeah. we like walked walked through the strip. Yeah, we yeah. skated at like like three in the morning through the strip yeah. one night and then like the next day we bro, the next day was when the shit show started. We walked in like the blazing heat for like eight hours, bro. That shit was insane. Doing what? Just walking the strip, bro. We yeah. went to the pool and like we went all the way to the pool at Caesar's Palace, right? Oh, I'm not going to no pool at uh, yeah. the Vegas Strip. That sounds insane. That sounds disgusting. Caesar Palace one is looks Who really does not nice. Go to though. a pool, bro. I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm not going to know. Like, bro, you have like to that. see it. Nah. It looks fucking nope. like magnificent, bro. Nope. Wait, anyway, do I, we, all right, so look, this nigga's crazy. <laughs> but <he's, laughs> nah. Said, nope. Nope. It said Yuri Beyond Toxic. Somebody please bring it nope. up. Why are you reading the chat wait, right wait, now? Wait, wait. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. No, I want to hear about the uh, the good side. And then yeah, we okay, could then we can get to the bullshit. Get dark, and then we could end it on a good note. You feel me? Exactly. Go ahead. I like that, Buzzy. Wait, I actually, fart, bro. can I add this little He's piece of information? Because this is pretty key, too. 
when we were having this barbecue, right, we're all thinking of this plan. My homie Chris, uh, uh, aka Freddie Mercury, he was with us, right? And uh, he, we all made the plan together. Like we're all gonna do it together. And then he was, and uh, Chris was like, "Yo, I'm actually gonna head there tonight, and I'll see you guys there tomorrow morning, because it's only gonna take you like four or five hours to get there, right? And you're gonna mm-hmm. leave hell early." So we're like, "Yes, that's all gonna happen." He ends up leaving that night. Gets there in like two, three hours or, you know, three and a half hours. Jesus. Spends the whole day there. We didn't get there till fucking 2 a.m., the, you know, the, yeah. the next day, wow. basically. Yeah. So he spends a whole day there without us. Yeah, waiting for us. And then uh, the next day, I, I don't think we linked up with him the next day, did we? Or was uh, it the next day? The what? next day we linked up with him for breakfast, but he was already leaving. Oh, yeah. And the next day we finally linked up with him for like 30 minutes and then he left. So I felt so bad that we made this plan together and we only got to hang out for like breakfast. Why didn't he just push up on y'all? Nigga, we was up at 5 a.m. drinking Tito's, listening to Lush. Oh, yeah, we were. Y'all were listening li- to Lush is crazy. Bro, what does that mean? We were listening to Cocaine Butt. As soon as we parked at 2 in the morning, we're all, like, tired, and we're like, we're finally here, let's get lit. And then we all just start, you know, drinking, taking shots and shit. The next thing you know, yeah, we're up till 5, bumping Cocaine Butt. And that's just... <laughs> Pull up stunting with Cocaine we Butt, even basically. Started, we even talked to Lush, too. Deeper than Lush. a bitch. Oh, yeah, we oh, damn butt. My favorite thing about the streams, though, is, like, my, like... Every night, like I'll call in, like I want to call in, like every sixteen hours, <laughs> you know, like every like every sixteen hours. I know why crazy. so specific. Three quarters of a day. You only called yeah. in twice. Yeah, three quarters of a day. Mm. On uh, I called in earlier today, <coughs> called in yesterday, and the day before that. Mm-hmm. So how long? How long did you guys actually stay in Vegas for? Uh, two days. Yeah, two days. Yeah, and then we spent a, a, a night in Lake Mead. And that's where I was like super, super sick and out of it. Like I spent yes. a whole day being sick, basically. Damn, drink, you drank too much. I, okay, so people are gonna. We did drink a, a ridiculous amount, right? But the night before <laughs> I got sick, I ate White Castle, which Token didn't recommend out there. I ate the White nah, Castle. Yeah, fuck all that. Yeah. I ate this pizza that I feel like didn't sit well with me, but everyone else ate the pizza and they're all fine, right? And also I did drink a bunch, but the main yeah. thing is like Token said, we walked around in the fucking blazing heat for like literally six and a half That'll hours. That'll do it to you, bro. And yeah. that shit fucks you up, the blazing heat, especially like all exerting energy it, in it. Probably, it. You probably dehydrate. Blood just rushes to your brain. That's how you get headaches. Bro, bro it was like, it you're was probably dehydrated as well. That's what I'm saying. Blazing I was, heat. And I didn't drink, all honestly, like that uh, that much water. And uh, you're getting sweaty. You can't really like decompress properly yeah yeah bro and i think it was like that night or the next next night token and i were like yo let's go night skating again right uh-huh. i put on the backpack we like started leaving the parking lot to go <laughs> night skate by the end of the parking lot i was like yo toke like can you grab my backpack and i just start fucking throwing up like all the oh, pizza shit. i ate and i threw up like three times no way. and i was like yo toke I, I don't think i can go skating we had to cancel that whole thing and then uh the next morning i woke up threw up and then like i just kept throwing up the whole next day and I just was like feeling hell. I literally, I was like, bro, I was like, babe, I think we're gonna have to go to the hospital because I felt so sick. No I'm telling way! You. And this is where people, I don't this God. is where I people are calling me a crybaby and shit. Hold but on. I swear, dude. I, hold I that like note. Hold die. that note. Toke, veteran alcoholic, was my boy. Like, <laughs> was he about to get like alcohol poison? I think he was just super. But do you hungover. think that it was like hospital worthy? Like, fuck. Okay, nine one one. Like, no. hey, yeah. Like, you got to no. pick up my homie. It was not hospital worthy. Uh, I so, tell not him. even, not even close. So it was just. I gonna tell him it? how he, he his, just, how he feels on the inside. You, I know, thank you. I know how what fucking hangovers do, bro. I know. I've seen them all. But it wasn't, <laughs> bro. I've never been. I've never had a hangover and had to put a cold towel on my head because I felt like I was overheating. Uh-huh. Like I couldn't cool my body down. The RV was so fucking hot. Yeah. The temperature. Oh, oh, you said the AC wasn't working either. No, too, the AC right? was working, but oh. it was just like you it know, was hot. Bro. Yeah, we're opening the doors, going in and out, and like doing all this stuff. And then, uh, it, it, bro, it wasn't cool like that cool in there. And it was. I I just felt like I was overheating and could not yeah. cool down. Yeah, look, you, you got to think we're so, sitting in like a big parking lot. A, black tar around us the sun is beaming <laughs> a fucking hundred degrees and also like y'all That's are insane. regular people you feel me y'all are good people but like rv individuals not always like the the, the straight path motherfuckers you know you might get some like some crazy <laughs> ass riffraff ass fools you feel <laughs> me? Like, i, I noticed that all people that have rvs are republican yes they do not pay about rent and you go down a uh what is that orange grove or some shit like near north hollywood that one strip where uh uh, the Warner Brothers studio is at right there by uh, Universal yeah. Studios. All just like uh, RV. RVs, similar to Skid Row and Santa Monica now. Like what? Yeah. RV culture. So I was a little concerned. <laughs> RV knowing, no, no, that's a real thing. You know, there's RV nah. landlords. I want y'all to research that today. Like in yeah. LA, RV landlords. There's also yeah. van landlords too. This van is lords. wild. Yeah. Van, a van lord. Van, van lord. lord. And you be seeing that. Sh- I mean, yeah. you, you've been seeing it, man. Yeah. Me yeah. and Toka have our own like social. Uh, 
like like social homeless like podcasts in <laughs> like we see this shit you know yeah no nah, dead but, ass bro hey, but, I, was, I was literally gonna say that a a, a a fucking RV is like more likely Republican but a camper van is probably more likely Democrat the yeah, facts right you're gonna right. get like some like young hipster type person living out of their van that's been remodeled okay so fifty thousand dollars to do it so at this point that's when everything started going bad was was when y'all went to do the second skate and then you had to throw up yeah basically that's when things were going bad for me i don't know how everyone else is feeling at that i point. felt like a million bucks okay <laughs> <laughs> so so you felt good like the whole time because I, I you know i, I just want to bring the elephant in the room man i feel like people give you a lot of um pressure you know they try to see like stress they love seeing stress on on tv yeah mm -hmm. and uh i think it's easy sometimes to forget that like we all have shit that stresses us out and when you're when you're fully irritated you become what they say highly irritable you feel yeah, me it's yeah. like anything that touches you you're gonna like yeah pink gonna off make, you yeah. feel me and that just happens and i think it's kind of like uh you know like 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 some psychological reason why people might want to watch the stream sometimes because it's kind of weird how uh you know you watch call of duty you know you'll watch someone cook on twitch but because it's relatable mm -hmm. you know it's a it's a little interesting how like it, it turns into that but like you know i i understand that this is like your uh you know th this is your career this is the fuck you love doing you know and some people sometimes people think that they have uh your whole life to uh understand and to uh arrange you feel me so I just want to say that uh, I think that you're one of the strongest people <laughs> I know that deal with this internet shit because the shit you be going through, bro, is like it's yeah. not meant for the weak of heart, bro. You know, real. and it's one of those. Maybe they be like trying to make you crash out like literally no that's but. they literally donated earlier they're like we got to try harder to make you crash out yeah, yeah which is weird. like kind of a sick weird thing to like 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 if, if, if you enjoy watching this person then like why try to push them to some, some yeah. like, I think that's know. just the toxic nature of just streaming in general in, in, huh? as a whole not just, all the time general like I, I you know well I, you look I, at the top streamers you read their chat it's the most trolly thing ever you go to Aiden Ross's you go to Ke yeah, Kaisen yeah, out you definitely, feel me it's yeah, all it just like trolls like and that. shit you know? that's facts that's yeah so, you know um, but but with that being said man i think that like you and riley have a really good thing going on you feel me i hate to see you guys fight uh, yeah you feel me i see riley like a little sister or mm. big sister, mm. but like, <laughs> I, or, or big gave, sister. <laughs> I don't know. Like, hey man, I got you know what I'm saying. So it's like, yeah. I, I just want to see you guys get along. But like I said, I understand. It's so hard to turn that shit on and off. It's way easier said than done to like yeah. just say like, yo, can you turn that off yeah, it's on camera? Like, it's super easy for for anybody to just tell you to not do that or to like, especially whatever, when, especially when you got like a hot ass sun po pounding on you. <laughs> not, pause. Hey, no, but hot ass sun pounding. Yeah, on you okay, that's crazy. Pause. Someone clipped that. But uh, not only that, but uh, just dude, I've been on stream for <laughs> for seven days. I'm going on eight now, and like you know, when oh. you're doing a three or four hour stream, six hour stream, it's like easy to be like you know, uh take whatever irritability you have and like hold it aside mm -hmm. and like you know just be like oh man like kind of unwind on it after but when yeah. you're on stream for this long it's like impossible to unwind basically uh -huh. especially when i'm like going to sleep and i just they're trying to keep me up with donations it's like and i'm not complaining about it but like it's like that's what you're talking about where it's yeah. like i do become irritable and that's where people are probably calling me like a cry baby because on when i was feeling sick on the van i was just like i was yeah. kind of like you know in a bad mood but, but with, with that being said man you gotta remember like riley's like your strongest foot soldier you feel me if there's anyone that's on your side it's her yeah. you feel me like that's a fact <laughs> dude that's a fact for real there's no i'm not gonna be around you like that token gonna be you know you have someone who really loves you bro yeah. and i feel like i'm not even answering the phone you know if i know you're on stream and i and i know you love her to death this is one of those things where you don't think about and like my bad for having you fucking having to deal with this nah, shit. i don't mean to make it like a topic i just want to see you guys just like you know i i think i just need to hear a i love you riley yeah well you gotta <laughs> tell her bro i i've been saying that say since I, the beginning i do and you know you're 100 percent right uh, you riley the has words? been by my back since the beginning we've got together since our first stream together she when she dyed my hair that was our, our very first stream together was her dyeing my hair mm -hmm. and literally with all my streams i was just telling um pa lord uh, earlier today that i've done like a hot tub stream with lucha where riley was like boiling fucking uh, uh things of water and bringing over to our little kiddie pool because because <laughs> it was just cold ass water in there and like and just like beyond ridiculous the gulag stream, just beyond yeah. beyond ridiculous stuff she's like helped me with and uh and you know and not only that, but 
just dealing with like you know the some of the shit that you know people say through yeah. TTS and stuff like that, and people say in the chat and whatever. Yeah. It's I like I can expect myself to be like you know like oh I don't care and just like you know brush it off, but I can't expect everyone around me just yeah. to have the same philosophy and be yeah. like and have their you know little things like pointed out or whatever and, it is. And like, it doesn't. It, it's not an easy job. Like I understand. Yeah. Like it's not. It's not something that like the average person can handle you know what i'm saying like it, it takes a special somebody to even have to like you know tolerate and uh you know still stick by you side by side like and my my bad if i'm sounding off like uh now a white knight or some shit like nah, that you, you know what i mean no you're but, speaking no you're 100 percent facts no, Riley I, deserves you, all the love in the world and you identify and understand that shit yourself you know what i mean no, it's not even like, i'm preaching to the choir really you know but uh and sometimes it's like you know it's it's a like I don't know. It's the thing where, like, if you tell people to stop doing a certain thing, they they're do gonna, it more. Go exactly. So if you're just harder. like, you know, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, I feel like the real people who actually do watch me because they actually do support me, the people who aren't there just to watch the crash out and then they'll, you know, not even be subscribed or not even fucking care to support in any way or like even just be an actual, you know, decent, you know, person and not, you know, be incredibly toxic. So the, to the people out there who actually do support me and, you know, fuck with me, I'm sure they feel the same way about Riley and, uh, and we fuck with you too. And also, I love you, Riley. Thank you for dealing with all the bullshit that Say, comes I'm sorry, with. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mijo. And I love you. And I'm, Q Tyler. Damn, what did you, and mean, what you, did you do, bro? Thank you for dealing fuck? with all the shit can that comes with being my girlfriend. Yeah, can you acknowledge that, you know, she's damn near like a manager and assistant of yours <laughs> that, you know, has to just eat it and just hear it, pause, you know, but like, you know, and I understand you're also her assistant and her manager and you have to hear it and deal with it as well. So, well, for sure, more on her end, we're like, you know, last night we came up with this random idea. Like Riley's the one like on the computer fucking scheduling the the RV trip and, yeah. like, you know, mm. purchasing it. Bro, like, who was going to do that? Yeah, I, I, I don't even. I've never got an RV in my life, bro. <laughs> like, bro, I don't know how to do that. Me either. Shit. Yeah, I never know. even been inside an RV. Me, I mean bro, either, bro. Don't, I definitely don't do, wouldn't. Don't yeah. do it. Yeah, don't avoid do it. it. Just, yeah, man. But sad. I just wanted to end the, the 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 conversation on a happy note. You feel me? Uh, you know, I, I like like I said, I look up to y'all. Y'all make it in my head to make it seem like it's possible and shit like that. And you know, I feel like we could also learn from Toke. You feel me, Toke? Yeah, he's man. probably been on the fucking on the oh edge of just being pissed off. You yeah, know? Oh my like, god, let's not let's, let's just not bring a, let's not bring up the last time we went to Vegas. Jesus <laughs> Christ, I know what this oh fucking crybaby. I don't. Nigga. I, can, can I hear? He's that? a real crybaby for what, real. Because I've never been. I've never been around Toki right. Baruch. Toke's my homie and shit. But we've yeah. never like hung out and gone to a trip you know what i'm saying like yeah. a majority of times we have we to go on a, we have, been on camera we have to go on a group trip uh, like all together it just takes a lot out of me bro Nigga, just like, bring your laptop and just work and you go on trips all the time yeah you i don't I haven't, I haven't gone a lot this year bro man. you be going all the time i know bro. like miami the bay bro, and then, like other air places that was my girl and i don't think my girl i told my i made i promised one thing to my girl i'm like baby I don't ever want to stream. Maybe I don't ever want to stream. On camera, man. On like, camera. I'm afraid. I felt that. I'm afraid. Oh, man. You, you know don't ever want to stream on camera? Nah, not with. Nigga, we're streaming on camera right now. I know. Oh, man. fuck. I got to go. I was really going <laughs> to say. Just kidding. No, but like, I, I don't think I have the uh, the mental will and like the willingness to hear the chat just eat me up. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And it's like my homie sometimes might say a, a stronger drug. You ever see that Drewski clip of like. He's the like, homie's trying to fight you and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. You feel me? While you're with girls, or like, <laughs> like man, take my shit off. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. that shit. Crazy. I can't imagine strangers doing that that's to dope. me by the hundreds. That's dope last <laughs> yeah. week. Oh my god, or whenever we got into it. Yeah. <laughs> you started saying deeds and shit. Yeah. <laughs> All kind of shit. That nigga dug deep, man. That nigga was like, hold on, pause. Mm. Oh god, but no, but you didn't even hear the worst part. Nigga. What? So we fucking got pulled over today. What'd what? You mean? Oh, in the in the RV, bruh. Shut the fuck up. We didn't even talk about the toilet thing either yet. Yeah, oh get my into god. The toilet. Yeah. Okay. So. No, we, 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 you already brought it up. All right, so I'm gonna just talk about the shit, bro. So this like, was so. F I've never seen Toke, you know, be in a situation. And also, it's really funny, right? Like, imagine <laughs> you're getting pulled over with your homie driving a car. It's one thing to be like sitting in a seat. But when you're standing, you know what I mean, like in a camper van, and you're like staring at each other just like this, and you're getting pulled over, and it's like basically like you're in a little room. It's yeah. it's a weird little interaction, but yeah, it's crazy. Um, but yeah. I never seen you interact. Like, uh, you got you got so scared, you almost shit yourself, bro. Literally, so fucking um, so 
basically we we have to actually we have to tell the fucking toilet shit first because this mm. this is why that we got pulled over. Oh, oh you're oh, right. We got pulled like over. To each other. I yeah, forgot about that. We got pulled over because of the fucking toilet. Yes. yes. So boom, our fucking shower, not the toilet, but the shower floods. Right. At one point, yeah. Allie's like, "Oh my god, there's sewage water coming out of the shower drain." Yeah. And, yep. and also, be, I noticed that, we all noticed that even on our first days when we were brushing our teeth in the sink, yeah, the water was taking that. forever to go down. Don't say that. And I was already thinking like, oh, is right. it because the, oh. what's going on here? So no, you're, 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 like, no, the sewage water? No, 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 I'm saying the shit was already clogged. Like there's the fresh water, then there's sewage water. Yeah. They don't, they don't. So, interact. but then like the fresh water ran fresh out. Fresh water, sewage water. I mean, the sewage water got too full, right? And so like the, the level said a different thing that it, than it showed. I mean, the levels were a different thing than it showed. And so the sewage started coming out of the shower, bro. Ugh. And then and that's it, all of our we all pee. We none of us shit, but that's uh, all of our that's all of our piss. And also I had showers. Y'all Coke don't be shower. drinking water. No, nah, I, know, I, was, I know that, that shit was golden it, yellow. There was crickets when I said bro. that. You, y'all know you. Y'all know there was not <laughs> no was water. water. I just drink water right now. That bro. shit looked like ginger ale on God. That shit was the most like Tangiest tank of golden liquid. No, it's actually ever. like I don't even know what color it was, but anyway, that shit's brown, yeah, homie. Yeah, it was, a, was you, you can, got unsweetened tea. It was like matching like the floor, bro. That like, shit looked like, like fat tire. Yeah, bro. this floor right here. Homie. And you want to hear something a little bit worse? Is and hu- and this is why Allie's kind of like the goat of this trip. Is when this shit got, got clogged, she instantly was like, We gotta fix this shit, right? She was trying all these different things, none and, of them were working. And what was this nigga doing? Complaining? No, he was just saying, crying he was, he the was whole doing time. Nothing. I was doing Yuri nothing. and Tober just <laughs> went. Like, yeah. No, I was. Oh my I, you know, God, I can't believe this shit. I was, I was uh, doing, ruining my RV trip. No, no, no. I was doing <laughs> fix nothing. Fix the bathroom, mom. I was doing nothing because you can't complain <laughs> if I've done nothing. <laughs> like, that was his I, motto this whole trip. Literally, you can't he complain if just, I've. Mm, I like that. I'm gonna use that one. <laughs> bro, I, I don't even get what that meant, but I got you. You can't I'm, complain if I ain't doing nothing, man. He was, just, <laughs> he was literally just drinking beers and taking care of Horizon. And oh, that was right. Horizon <laughs> was sitting in my lap playing Roblox while this old shit was happening. I was drinking an ice cold fat tire, Yo, <laughs> <laughs> like dead ass. Y'all, bro. y'all be putting Horizon through hell sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call it out. I'm gonna call it out. I I know that How? you know there's nothing but love and care. <laughs> When it comes to her, we don't play about H, you know, huh? but man, <laughs> she, she really just wanted to be at home and go down the slide. Like, yeah, no, right? she for sure like, wanted to be at home. She's like, what the fuck y'all got her doing? watching like damn near like the, the four wheel version of Titanic go down. <laughs> while fucking, <laughs> while, she was actually vibing. Yeah, she was actually vibing little, the whole She might've been the only one there drinking water. No, she was actually, bro. The, she wasn't she was either. Actually, <laughs> bro, actually she was in the back. Playing Roblox, eating ice cold strawberries, and drinking juice. Chilling. I like that. That chilling. would be that would be me that's, if yeah, I was on yeah, the trip with you. Like, <laughs> she was crazy. chilling, bro. Bro, but uh, okay. So I was gonna say, Ali uh, was like trying to f- fix all the you know the shower situation, and I guess because the shower is connected to the sink, the kitchen sink, and also the toilet. Oh no, not the not the toilet, but it's connected to the two other sinks. So the water levels like and the smells coming out of all these yeah. fucking vents. Yeah. And Allie basically like took, took some plastic bags and was trying to do like the hand pump thing in the sewage she, water. She was giving the fucking sink CPR. Basically. Yes, but the, the water in the sink, as I said, was a collection of all the. Uh, Brad, it was gnarly. And I was for sure not doing it because I would have threw up and then we, we had to clean up more shit. All right. So now we got to clean up two things. And what's your excuse? I was uh, um, working on the stream. Bro, mm. first of all, oh was, no no, I was felt sick. I was sick so out of my mind. I was and sick it, out of my mind. At this what was Horizon doing? She was with <laughs> me, <laughs> oh, or with Riley. So oh yeah, right. Oh yeah. Oh no, I was just doing nothing. <laughs> I was Who's, just doing nothing. Wait a second. Who the fuck is driving at that moment? No, we're just no. This, st- this, yeah, we're, we're just parked. parked. Oh okay, I'm over here. But Ali like, also drove. Yeah, oh yeah, the, the twelve hours there and the twelve hours. So why aren't the men of the trip? Putting a little more effort because into like the you whole thing. Can't bro. complain if I'm doing nothing. I bro. like that. <laughs> I like complain. that. I'm not doing nothing. Listen, <laughs> I seen it first. I seen it firsthand. This nigga on a trip, bro. I don't think. <laughs> hey, I don't this think nigga. half of these streams would happen if y'all were single. No. If we were, bro, if we were single, <laughs> if we would have, if we were single, we would have died. No, for sure, hundred like, percent. It would have been, been way more flooded, bro. But dude, uh, 
after the, the so it was flooded with sewage bro so water. i guess the water bro, started yeah. y'all ankle deep y'all no we weren't it was just like a little stream of sewage water That's going nasty, through that motherfucker. Bro. Yeah. but it was bro it was a it solid just, stream going through the whole center of the rv that we cleaned up but the smell stayed for a <laughs> of minute of course it stayed Ugh. and bro. yeah it were and y'all <laughs> Y'all put my fucking goddaughter through this? <laughs> Bro, we did not make this shit go like fucking y'all got on purpose. My, but like anyway. Y'all got though, Horizon fucked up. So like, Bro, anyway. you're acting like this doesn't happen in the casual household. It don't. No, it doesn't. It don't. But it happens in the casual RV. That's why I'm never doing that shit the fuck again. But like, nigga. All right, I so thought like, RVs were for like. So better look, living vibe. So look, but. this nigga Yuri just said, you, you bro, have to like shit water is not just flowing through your house at all. We actually stopped, we'll talk about this too, but we actually stopped by someone, uh, some mechanic place for RVs to get help for something, right? And the dude told us, he's like, you know what RV stands for? We're like, what? He's like, ruined vacation. So it's like they're they're known for I guess having issues and bro, fucking, just having a complete cussing fucking. I problem. think it's good. I think it's safe to say we could blame it on the RV. I yeah. think so too. Sorry. Blame it so on that. I, I, the I, I, RV I, I, just alcohol. had weird ass vibes, man. So, so listen to like, this, y'all right? Were just set to you fail gotta blame it on the shit. alcohol. So bro. listen to this, right? So boom, we get the shit, the shower. I mean, like the water levels, kind of okay. You say you get in the shit shower. The water levels of the shower, like okay, where it's like going down and shit. So we buy this. So like, y'all take a fucking golden shower. No, 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 no. no what no, do you, no, bro? No, no, no. <laughs> we we, we buy this. Cook. Let him look, cook. Look, look. So we buy this like Drano shit that like helps it clear out and shit. And it yeah. started working and shit, right? And you're supposed to also you're supposed to dump these waters. Yeah. There's like a, a black water that's like the solid stuff, poop Whoa. and shit. And there's the gray water, which is the showers and the pee or whatever, I guess. Yeah. And you're supposed to dump these two things. Yeah. So this is where we were like kind of running. So, so like, so <laughs> y'all mixed the so, two. <laughs> no, look. So we were we did dump a little bit at the at the Lake Mead spot, but we didn't dump all of it. So it was like, it was still some in it there. It was right? like clogged. We were yeah, dealing with the clogged. Oh yeah, because it was clogged, right? So. Ali finally gets it unclogged, right? And we like we're like pulled over to the side of like the road, right? And we're about to smoke a split. She she gets it unclogged. We're like, fuck, damn, that's good. Mm -hmm. So the shit started just pouring out on the side. Don't it's like random desert street, right. right? Just random side of the freeway, like the freeway exits right there, just random desert road, right? And I was like, and I'm and I was like, bro. Fuck it. They were like, should we do it right here? I'm like, bro, Highway Patrol is not fucking about to come right he here. He literally said that. He's like, bro, there's no way Highway Patrol it's is going to pass by the street. It's literally the randomest fucking desert road. Nothing around, bro, for miles. And I was literally saying, I was like, I don't think we should do this. I, I was like, I think it's illegal to just dump sewage on the side of the and bro, road. And then next illegal? thing you know... We, we're, it is. We're, next thing you know, we're smoking the spliff, right? No, we were just sparking it. Oh, we are just it. sparking it. I was literally just trying to spark it. And then, look, fucking Highway Patrol goes right by us, right? Pew. No, no, he goes he goes past us first. And I was like, oh, shit, that's the cops. And then, boom, we tried to all get in the RV real quick because we were like, oh, shit, we already know. Scared. Bro, this nigga flips a quick bitch on his and blurps us, bro. But luckily, I was already in the RV. Yeah. I was already in the RV. Toke rushes in the RV. He's like, Ali, go, 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 Ali, go. Start, like, uh, turn on the car and go. And she's bro. like, I'm not going to fucking drive away from the I cops like, in the RV. got to get out of here. <laughs> you could. <laughs> no, dude, that shit is slow as hell. They were, yeah, I they didn't say, pull, I don't know if you can get outrun them. <laughs> I know. But like, a cop it's got, not that illegal that you're gonna go to jail or something. No, yeah, nah, but you feel me? We had you feel me? We had other things and shit. It was that like, don't nah, matter. We, nah, I was just that's, like, exact, matter, that's exactly nigga. why you hop in the car, man. A cop was behind me about like four weeks ago in the IE, right? And yeah. um, I'm just in a parking lot, and it just keeps following me in this parking lot. I'm like, whoa. I'm gonna get pulled over right now. I just hop in. I just go in. I just park in a parking spot, hop out. They leave me alone. Huh? No, this wasn't like that. <laughs> we literally. Had, all right, so look, we had all right, so we had dumped sewage on one side of the street at first, and That's we're like, crazy. We're, you oh, are, look, yeah, you, look, look, look. They're and giving what, you the death penalty. No, it was actually just shower water. <laughs> but look, we jumped it on one, you on we jumped it on one side of the yeah, street at trial. first, and we're like, damn, that shit fucking stinks. Let's go to the other side and see. <laughs> I'm so glad I was not with y'all. <laughs> we're like, that shit stinks. Let's go to the other side and smoke, right? So we go to the other side and smoke because the freeway's right there. We're like, oh, boom, we could get right back on the freeway right after the split. And we left a whole trail of sewage going to yeah. it. And it, started to, it started coming out more, right? And then, boom, Higher Patrol goes right by us and he goes, what the fuck? <laughs> right on us, bro. That shit was crazy. Oh, my God. Bro, it was nothing around us. It was literally fucking nothing. I was well, like, that's bro, why they. It was the same CHP. 
No, I'm just saying like the, the I'm just saying like the cop like him being right there at that spot was fucking crazy because I I was like nigga where would the fuck was he going? Because that's like, why y'all never should never listen to Toke about anything. <laughs> 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 that's proof right there, bro. And then uh, basically, Ali and Riley just came out the car. They uh and they started talking to the cop, and then the cop just let us off with the warning. But apparently, it's like bro, it is illegal to do that. You Wait, so he it. saw y'all do it. Yes, because as he was as just... he was like talking to us, it's fucking coming out <laughs> yeah. of the thing still. And this nigga TTS says, "Hide the meth," and we got the fucking <laughs> <laughs> we got the fucking window open, bro. <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that's fucked up. So you don't think you'll ever do this this thing again? That's you I, know he's going to. I no, I don't. He's think. gonna do it next week. Hell no, I don't think I would do another RV trip. RV, fuck no. To be I honest, don't ever that shit was RV tough. In my life, dude. unless it's like Yuri's gonna be like uh, in the back of a U-Haul stream. The only way I would <laughs> I would do. <laughs> I don't, the only thing I would do it is, is if like some RV company just was like we Sponsored have a, you? we have a driver and the most fucking magnificent magnificent like you know comfy RV possible. If anything breaks down here, we got you on a fresh one right here. You can just hop right in there. I'd be like, right. all right, perfect. Where the fuck are they doing that? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna follow. They're gonna follow behind you with, with another one. Three extra RVs. Speaking of, speaking of breakdown too, it's one more thing that fucking. Oh happened. my fucked god, up. dude, bro, we bro, like the seatbelt gets locked around the seat. Right, huh? And like, all right, so like, you know how you wear a seatbelt like this, right? Boom, sure. So, if you go like, if you wear it like this, and then you go like this, and it goes around the seat like that, mm -hmm. boom, and then you take it off, right? And it still stays around the seat, yeah. So, right, totally fine, right? Uh, the seat I know belt, what you're talking about, yeah. The seatbelt locks, bro, and we can't get this shit uh, off, bro. It locks hella hard, bro. And then, like, <laughs> we we're all like basically trying super hard to try to get to loosen, and then gets tighter and tighter and tighter and next thing you know it's like this seat is like stuck and fucked and also um we were already like worried about the sewage situation because we were like i didn't want to get an upcharge and i didn't want to um you know get my i want to get my fucking deposit back all that shit then i was like bro now this seat belt stuck around the fucking seat or whatever <laughs> it smells and, like weed and alcohol <laughs> and sewage and and, uh, <laughs> and bro we fucking uh we go to this one spot to get some help from some uh, from this dude and this dude's hella nice he like comes over he like helps us out and shit and my and i'm still streaming Shout out the camper team. world a shout out to Camper World and I have the TTS going on and like the dude is bald and the TTS goes off like fuck this bald dude looking like blah 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 like, looking like Vin D like, and I was like <laughs> fuck this bald dude Vin Diesel motherfucker hurry up and fix the seatbelt or oh, some shit and dude God. it's like hot as fuck it smells like ass in our RV <laughs> and he's like helping us out yeah. and I'm like and I'm thinking like bro he's about to be like fuck you guys like I'm out of here but he just laughed at it he was like yeah he didn't even ask what we were doing he just laughed and I'm like bro maybe he thinks we're pranksters but then I was then he came back and was like really talking to me. He was like, all right, no, these niggas genuinely need help. These are fucking just idiots. Yes, but yes. He, and then like, so we, he brings us to this like side garage or whatever. And then like this dude named, uh, what was his name? Klaus. Shout out Klaus. Klaus. He, he, this nigga comes out. This nigga comes out, right? With some tools and shit. Pops the panel off. Fixes this shit real quick, right? Mm -hmm. TTS comes in like. Hey, you fat fuck. <laughs> We're not going to play you a buffalo nickel for this shit. Uh, Get the fuck on or some crazy shit. Dude. Bruh. And uh, then he didn't even understand what was going on. He just kind of like looked around like, yeah. what the fuck was that? And then uh, he fixes it, bro. We was all super hyped about it. Like, because that shit was like for like a day. It was stuck like that. So we were like, fuck. We were super hyped. And then uh, we we're like, damn, how much we owe you? And this, they were like, nothing. Just give us a nice review on Yelp. Basically, oh, bro, dead ass. Super I was like, nice, what the fuck? super, nice, super dude. nice. Even though they heard that, bro, bro. offensive ass fucking TTSs and shit. And this was bro. all today. Yeah, and they're all that, Republicans that was too. Today, Republicans yeah. are Man, nice as fuck. This was all today. Republicans. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're cool. I think that uh, uh, it's just always the ones that are like too far left or too far right that like spoil both. Uh, no, parties. no, exactly. Facts. Because it's like you got some crazy ass yeah. feel from each side. You got crazy yeah. people fucking. In every you know, but like life. you know, I want I want to shout out to uh, you know our white Republicans out there, some good ass white people outside. No, man. that's a fact, bro. Everybody was so down to help, bro. Look, you got to think about it. I just want to say, no, no, no. They, they be hating on white people, man. I fuck with white people. The, the facts, bro. Literally, no, literally, bro. Look, <laughs> we too. in the middle of the desert, right? We're in the middle of the desert. <laughs> I don't know. We're in the man. middle of the fucking desert, right? Yeah, it's up? fucking back the blue sh shit. You no know, undertakers from there. American flags, <laughs> big ass, big ass pickup trucks Death and Valley. shit, right? Yeah, Death Valley. I'm going to ask the questions as a nigga change out and shit with tattoos on my face. They're like, everybody was so helpful. 
bro, bro, it was a, the best thing I've ever experienced. Bro, they think they, you're a test. That's why. A t- oh, <laughs> oh my they god! Think they to, think like, you're a fucking like I, YouTube video yeah. where they're like <laughs> trying to oh, piss them off or yeah. something like that. Bro, Tok really went to like some random RV and asked them for pepper. And they gave it to me because we needed pepper. Oh, that's pepper. like some neighbor like what the love fuck right you there need pepper for. Sure. for? Uh, we didn't, um, we hamburgers. Didn't, we didn't, yeah, we we didn't have pepper for the burgers, and I was like, we're not just eating lorries on that. Bro, shit, so bro. y'all were eating just stinky poop burgers the whole trip. <laughs> no, actually, like, no, I, yeah, actually, <laughs> actually, she made. I think he's eating sewage burgers. She, she, made a, she made them in a grill outside, bro. <laughs> Hell so, no, y'all yeah. had y'all yeah. had sumis, not smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. These niggas is eating sewage burgers. Yeah, bro. swamp yeah, water I mean. to another. I thought this was swamp water. Nah, you had some bro. swamp water. It was terrible. I'm excited to get you back home and shower and it lay got, down. It got this shit in here. Relax. Nah, yeah, he put like three squirts in there. Look, they, so they don't sponsor this shit, so don't like smack yeah, no, me. No, no, no. I'm not but like, I just want to say shout out to this company. They're called Can Canade. I'll be off these uh, uh these THB C- THC syrups drops. So good. I want to try that shit because it's try a thousand it. milligrams, but then I want to try it's like the whole thing. Hot. No, you can't, bro. I want to do it like on a stream. And like, I've been it. having sleep problems, right? And this is not at a sort like ready to torture himself again. No, I've been I've been wanting to do a, like a two thousand, three thousand milligram stream for a long time. No, th- this is not this is not an or anything by any means. I swear, but bro, I'd be drinking this to go to sleep because like, I have problems remaining asleep. I could sleep like a baby once I get started, but I can only get like three, four hours, I and that shit is scary to me, bro. That so is like, sketchy. I uh, uh, I drank this last night you feel me i woke up at 10 30 bro i was like damn man i fell asleep at like midnight so just want to say shout out to canade you feel Put me but I, I, so uh no <laughs> that's weird blunt. it's edible so uh do you, do you guys have any like plans on uh like calming down with the alcohol do you guys think that the alcohol is a problem no uh, <laughs> <laughs> no uh, for me every time okay so for me this trip i for sure when because usually like whenever like you know uh, i like uh, i do the casual or just the normal streams i do which is you know throughout the week i stream on certain days for certain amount of hours and then uh and then i have time off or whatever it is right usually when i do drink it's probably like friday saturday sunday and then i don't drink throughout the week and then um here i was what? i was drinking monday tuesday and i feel like i was just going a little bit too ham and so this week it was it went a little bit too far i should not have drink that much a hundred percent and like sometimes i do get like i don't know just too into the moment i'm just like yeah let's go shot let's take yeah. a i don't shot. think i've ed- like you're, you're big baba lowski yuri getting <laughs> fucking drunk every day but i've never been with you drunk <laughs> that's cap i've never that's seen cap. you like but dude i fucking fuck with you blazzy. i love you like, blazzy. i've <laughs> never heard that i don't think i get I, drunk. he don't get like he don't get like that when he's drunk though yeah I don't think so. keeps it cool you know what I'm saying? Like, Tok, oh, like, Tok's what's eyes just closed. Like, Tok, Tok's just chilling. You feel me? Don't yeah. bug him. You know? Bro, one of the funniest things I noticed. From no, you'll Tok say the trip. same jokes. You'll say the same. Bro, jokes. he does that so. Oh, when I'm drunk, no, but when I'm drunk, I'll keep. I will antagonize one joke as much as I can. The, like, you'll do so that funny. sober though, too. Yeah, that's fact. The you, fucking I've done nothing, so I, I like, you know, haven't uh, whatever. The, he's doing been doing that all fucking trip, basic RV it's, trip. It's facts though. Where the fuck did this come? That from? would get old for sure. It okay. was getting. Ali was getting pissed. It got old already. Got mad as fuck. Bro, if someone texts me that I'm not doing nothing, nothing, so don't be mad at me. I'll spit my cereal. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done nothing, so you have nothing to get mad about. Exactly, because I That's, haven't done anything. I'm gonna start telling. Nah, yeah. you that... do not deserve to know about that phrase. <laughs> You're the last person to say you that. Shit. To I don't be doing shit. That phrase. I don't be doing nothing. Hey, but Shh. but I, I do want to say one thing though, man. Like, uh, you know, great story. I fuck with it, but man, like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> this week in my team <laughs> I was gonna ask what, While we were on this Fucking crazy uh, Death journey What were you guys doing yeah, so, I'm surprised y'all, y'all made it back So I'll keep bro, it real bro. With y'all man Since That's like right. You know Since I got in this uh, uh, Relationship I haven't really been Like too think, concerned about uh, uh, thinking about to get Real deep right now Pause. I mean yeah I, I just really haven't been uh, uh, You know I love my team I love my designers I love my warehouse people I love my production people But like We just go on trips Like every month Every two months and we've he gone. just said like two seconds ago that he d- doesn't go on trips. Let and me now, finish. Now you're. <laughs> I know exactly. Now you're talking about how you. Well, I'm going. saying how I how I used to go on trips every one or two okay. months, but mm-hmm. now I don't. Okay. That's kind of like my sentence right there. So, you know, with that being <laughs> said, senses? they decided, man, fuck this fool Blasi. Oh God. They left so, you. So they're like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm do my. We're gonna do our own trip in Twin Peaks. California, which That's is super like, random, which is like the camping grounds. But, you know, they had a player, um, a player, uh, what you call that cabin. It was so dope, mm-hmm. like three stories. 
That's Damn, tight. that's fire. And they didn't invite you? Well, they did. They like left it, your They invited me ass. towards the end, but like I'm somebody also that like I don't really like going outside, man. I'm a bookworm that don't read. You know, like I just be like, I just be on my computer, man. I be smoking that loud. You know, I be fucking smoking that loud. I be fucking with these drops. You, you drinking that loud? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sipping that facts. loud. You know, you mix this with a Red Bull sugar free. Hell no, nah, nigga. You it's trying to have a heart attack? Yeah, you blacking out? Over with. This nigga, you about, to, you about to Kevin Samuel? That's not Red Bull sugar free. Bro, but uh, you know, I think that uh, Rest in peace. you know, on my on my Yuri vibes, you know, I kind of was like a little ticked off. I was a little annoyed and. <laughs> I realize that I love I'm that not, being pissed off is Yuri. Is I'm sorry, bro. He, about what? What are you? He's gonna off about? smack the shit out of me when the show's over. No, I, I got no. Wow. But uh, I was. Uh, uh, oh, because they didn't. You couldn't go on the trip. No, I was. <clears throat> when I got there, they were. I was like, cool. So, like, where am I sleeping at? Crickets. Oh, you went? Yeah, I ended up. So I, I I'm, I'm like, I, I'm in the IE right, and I'm just like, man, I might as well just pull up. How far is Twin Peaks? Uh, it's about two hours. Isn't from it downtown. a lake there? Yeah, Isn't no, it a it, damn TV show. I know, yeah, right? It's a band, all types of shit. So, <laughs> it's all a band, all, all types, types of shit. A cake. <laughs> Twin Peaks is a is a chill way it's a bread band. band. <laughs> yeah, oh god. But oh, uh, uh, you know, so I had got there, bro. And like, first of all, they they all told me that, like, I'm like, man, like, what's up? Like, uh, who's here? They're like, nobody. I'm like, where y'all at? Want to go get some pizza? So I'm like, man, I'm finna eat good, like a king when when they get back. Everybody got personal pizzas. No pizza for Blasi. Wow. wow. So I'm a little hurt. Like, man, weird ass can't... homies. That... Did you tell them you weird, wanted food? Weird ass homies that don't get a big pizza to share. I didn't tell Niggas them. Niggas want to get personal. Yeah, personals. bro. It's crazy. When I get pizza, so like everyone can get a slice. Man, here. You, here. Had, you got, had you got one slice from everyone there, it would they would have all, all, all been I, fine. And you I ended up getting around like three pity slices. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just saw me in the corner eating like my hot Cheetos, and they were like, "All right, Baz, you, you want I'm a like, slice?" Oh, like, me, <gasps> And then they got mad at me because my dog ate a slice after I did. So like, then Damn. everyone's like, "Oh, why the fuck did you bring this dog, bro? <laughs> why are you hating, bro? Your so, dog's gonna have I'm, diarrhea." I'm, I'm just slices. Have, yeah, I'm just realizing my team don't really fuck with me as much as I thought they oh, did. They don't oh fuck with God. Canela. I yeah, know, no, I, I know they don't. She be shitting everywhere. Bro. Yeah, literally. It's okay, like, okay. Well, y'all never heard of a y'all don't know dog shit. That's that's you learned that on the first day of having a dog. Y'all didn't know. You learned well, that on the first day you didn't of know like you, you have to walk a dog so it doesn't shit indoors. I walk dog. I walk my dog every day. I, I walk, walk dogs. A <laughs> dog walk. Mm. No, but dog. long story short, the, the next dog morning walk. I was just like, you know, I was in bed, man. I'm arguing with my girl on the phone and shit like that. Like, oh god, I'm a little, I'm just, I'm just a little flustered, and I was just been like, there too many times. And I was just, but she ain't there, you know. I'm just like, wow. but I'm still upset, and I just realized, like, bruh. I don't even be having fun like this. Like, what? What the fuck am I doing camping? I I, I hopped in my wood, just went back home. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, the most blasy way to. Bro, I life. just drove two hours in my little canelas. You feel me? And then we just went home. You feel me? And got wow. got a little wow. intoxicated, man. How long was the drive home? Two hours. Just thinking you know? of some. So you drove four hours just to get some three pity slices. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, this but nigga Blasi uh, thinks he, I am legend. <laughs> I wish. I know him and Canelo. I know you was just—he was just on the couch. Everyone's thinking he's about to post up and shit. He was just like, "All right, y'all, I'm out." Like, Everyone what? said yeah. that they thought nah. I was gonna leave like immediately. No, no, no. Did, did you do the what is it called? The uh, uh, Irish goodbye? No, oh, I just said, don't say goodbye to anyone. Yeah, you just leave. Yeah, no, nah, that's cold. I heard that that was the Asian goodbye. Nah, Irish. Goodbye. Which I one think is it's Irish? It? I think I think it is. So what do Asians be doing? <laughs> Bow. Nigga, I don't know. Whoa, <laughs> oh, that's oh, insane. That You're insane. Yeah, this is horrible. Oh, Guys, boy. if you want to cancel now, is that Instagram is Low House Phone Junior? Or <laughs> not my Instagram. <laughs> some shit like that. Like, do not disturb. Do up. not disturb. Oh, yeah. House Phone Junior. Yeah, high Rollers. Three Instagrams ago. Nah, <laughs> I know, back. for real. Nah, but. um. But, yeah, so the Irish just, goodbye is the way to go. But no, sometimes yeah. And I just learned that like, so so whenever you guys tell me like, oh, I got this RV, you know, like, I don't think y'all understand that like, I I'm not necessarily like a, a bummer to keep around. I'm just somebody that like, I do not want to do anything but smoke my weed and watch TV. I'll die on that hill. I'll die happy like this, you know. Like I don't I don't like believing uh, uh like fun. <laughs> You just like to fun. chill and kick it. But that, yeah. but that could be your fun. What do you mean? I'm yeah, surprised so you don't play more video games. I'm just surprised that like it's Dude, not more bro. common instead of like camping. Like why can't we just kick it? 
Oh, people do that all the time, Blasi. People kick it. <laughs> I know people kick it. Literally, they're probably kicking it right now, watching us. <laughs> yeah. wow, we're just, we're and real. like, shout out to all my like people that be shout kicking out to it. Everybody kicking it. Yeah, <laughs> shout out Facts. like everybody that be having like watch parties that be like tagging us and shit. Mm. And they be like a group of niggas just in no. there watching reconnected. That shit. Dope. F y'all because oh, I know there's what? someone. Hold on, let me land. I know that there's someone in that group who can't stand all their weak ass homies talking over the podcast because I cannot watch podcasts with my homies. Yeah, that's not. It be I'll... stressing me out, bro. I lo- you think it could just oh maybe just one friend no motherfuckers love talking about what they're talking about camera and then they get some weird little like encouragement to just talk like they're on a podcast when they're yeah. hearing a podcast yeah and then you gotta pause that shit bro i'm not gonna, i'm not gonna lie watching anything with anybody is a bad idea because Facts. i think i need to hear every millisecond of what's going on if you come yeah. to my crib bro we're watching like shallow like uh like attention span level like content we're watching like yeah. german in venice going through skid row we're gonna watch a music video or we're gonna watch like a time lapse on how this like house in like philippines got made or you were watching prank that's videos good, when i came to your house actually. that's a good one what were we watching you were watching some uh, some sort of prank videos oh i love prank videos Me listen too. and i was telling yuri this because yuri pulled up to my crib at like fucking midnight to like 2 a.m just streaming at my, at my house you still got pulled up. You still got pulled up. Yeah, yeah I haven't been there yet. No. Yuri's been there like man a couple times. I feel no, like... that was my first time going there. But that was like yeah, still during this dollar ministry. I'm still thinking you live at the other spot. I'm tripping. Yeah, you definitely moved. What you think about my spot? I liked it. It was really nice. I didn't you know go anywhere else other than the living room. But from what I saw, I thought it was really cool. The interesting part was just like just seeing Blazzy's, uh, you know how he works, how he like edits and stuff like that. Because when I think of Blazzy, when I first thought of Blazzy working editing, I'm just thinking like. You know, double cup right here, couple, you know, <laughs> nigga right here, right. <laughs> couple charred up foils. A I'm fat joking. ass right there. <laughs> I'm no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, but I, charred I, up foils. I, is crazy. I usually You're imagine fucking... him like sitting at like some desk and just like working, crunching away. Maybe even you know, like in silence or something like that. Maybe like listening to music. But he, he was literally like getting up every 10, 15 minutes to like karaoke whatever song he was like listening to, <laughs> just getting hella into it, you and then going to. back down, just like still energy. editing. Like it seemed like like working for you. Was just like a hell of fun you know it's fun because it i didn't seem stressful like you're like grinding away like fuck man i don't know how to get this graphic done nicely or correctly or well it's so much fun bro like pause i'd be feeling like i'm dancing in the moonlight like pause <laughs> like what because what when i'm especially in my office man i treat this shit like a club bro like i'll turn off all the lights yeah right. I, I've seen you do he's this seen me in my element at 3 yeah. a.m you're just at my crib i still gotta keep it at a low bro, level there's people sleeping next door oh you, know? you go even crazier yes here because there's no like er, er, all the businesses around me shut down after 6 p.m so like from 6 p.m to 6 a.m i have like a club grade like speaker system here at the office so i'll be like boom like i have like my ornaments fall off the uh the shelf sometimes damn that's crazy but bro. like i like that shit is ridiculous yeah loud. I- i'll treat i'll treat my working session like i'm dj man like <laughs> you feel me like i'm producing bro like i'm rapping i'll go ahead man you you got yuri could have paid so finesse. serious bro that's he could have paid bro. finesse two times to perform his songs, but he got it way better with me. I know all the finesse two time songs. These bitches are put it on their own kids that they love. Your homie don't believe it. Crying and asking for money and shit. Like I had it easy. If I ever stopped fucking with you, it was for a reason. <laughs> Yeah. Well, saying about Blas- me, I never get mad. Bla- Blasi will I turn the easy. office into a fucking Kodak Black concert. That's what it seemed like at his house. It was just like him performing songs while fucking <laughs> barely like. I feel like you like clicked one button then got right back up. I love that shit, bro. I swear to God, but like a nigga like shading in, <laughs> shading in the skyline on. Sometimes a, on a I need it's man. It. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like I'll be here just alone. I'll smoke a blunt. Just look at the look at the artwork and be like, okay, I need to add more gradient right here. Like this need inner shadows weak. Mm. I need to buff it up. The opacity needs to get lower, man. And like I love when people have me fucked up thinking I don't be on Photoshop like that. Yeah, what I really love that do? shit. Nigga, they think that I'm just some some fat ass some eating, AI. you know, <laughs> rubbing my cat, you know, at a pause, you know, like I'm just just in some weird evil lair, just not doing like just on Etsy all night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I was they, at, oh, they, so, so basically you saying that you they think you don't like put the work in or like, oh, yeah, the, definitely put the effort into. Yeah, bro, I'm not going to lie. I still like, you know, like I, I've never done this with my own hands, but I uh this recent collection that I'm about to drop, me and my boy Leo. Shout out to Leo, man. Shout out to Leo. Me and Leo has been designing this shit together. And I'm not gonna lie, bro, this shit's been like it's so like it's so tedious to like 
really get shit to the point that you're like, all right, bro, like this and, is yeah. this is like where I want it to be. Like, you feel me? My favorite thing about what you're telling me, bro, is that you learn about all this shit, man. Yeah, facts, And kind of what we were talking about when you DM me earlier today about yeah. like, you know, like, oh, I get the promo style. I'm like, it's I fuck with you, house way, phone. It's a certain way I, to do. I, I, I fuck with house phone so much, chat, because this fool is always willing to learn. He wants to, you know, I, and I identify with that. I'm always trying to be a student. I'm always trying to learn yeah, from bro. somebody. And like, he, uh, uh, you know, because it's, it's 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 much more than just having like an idea or a good idea. It's like, oh, that, I. Feel, is the easiest That's thing the easiest in this part. game. Y'all think y'all are so cool and brave for having a cold <laughs> idea? Pfft, Man. Spin my cereal and sit in the back <laughs> of the line, bro. Like, it's, it's some cold ones out here. It's really the ones who understand this production who bro, win, man. That is the hard. That's the hardest part is figuring out how to fucking That's take why all this t-shirt design into... That's why all the corny ones on top, because the cold ones, it's very hard. It's only 1% of us cold ones who really get to this to the business part. Yeah, it. because, you know, if you're cold at just creativity, man, you could be a guy playing guitar at, on Venice Beach. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, yeah. That's cold. Yeah. That's creative. But you yeah. don't really understand the business of it, man. So, bro, like, literally, man, you saying some real <laughs> shit right now. bro. I had to drop all this in your bag right now. Well, bro. Uh, it's kind of like piggybacks to uh, what I wanted to say, man, like uh, uh, talking about this Etsy shit. Like I went on the food community uh, this week, man. They hit me with an interview. They also asked me, how do I feel about Yuri? Well, like what was their question specifically so uh shout out to la icon one mm -hmm. of your uh, co-hosts mm -hmm. on the re uh on the redacted podcast mm -hmm. and uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah shout out to icon you know my boy just asked me like how you feel about uh um you know yuri's relationship and i was like what <laughs> What's uh -huh. and i told him like man i, I love them to death bro you know oh uh, was mean? this was this after vegas this was the rv this was uh today's thursday this was on tuesday they, they had me pull up oh mm -hmm. so the rv was but i said there. nothing but love and uh when comments leave? but what I, what I meant to say they left on monday but what i meant yeah, to monday. say was uh um you know they asked me like no, I, I brought these matchbooks and and you know they're like oh so this is what uh uh fucking this is what uh, T Rel exposed you for, and I'm like, man, that's just gonna follow me for the rest of my life. But like, I love it just because it gives people like, you know, now I have a community of people that I gotta like disprove. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? And it just yeah. takes a couple like, you know, Photoshop streams. It takes a couple projects. It takes yeah. a couple items for them to realize like, nah, my boy's really him. You feel yeah, me? But and anyone who's like judging it. They either come from a place of like their graphic designers themselves. They see what I'm doing and mm -hmm. they're a little confused on why it's not working for them. Or it's people who don't even give a fuck about what I do. They don't they don't yeah. buy streetwear. They, they're not subscribed to what I got going on. So yeah. they're not going to understand it inherently. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, yeah like some, somebody <clears throat> tagged uh, like I, this shirt that I'm wearing. I posted it uh, earlier on fucking. I wrote it super Instagram. hard too, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. But look, I, I posted it. Do you have a lighter in the chat? Somebody uh have a matches. Somebody yeah. tagged uh somebody tagged somebody else like, oh yeah, like they did it first. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm not the first person to fucking flip the Louisiana mm -hmm, Louisiana mm -hmm. fried chicken, but like, bro, we fucking put hours into the back was, graphic of this shit, bro. I was talking to Zach FTP about that today. Yeah. You know? Um my boy hit me up last week, you know, just being like sure and secure because he knows how weird motherfuckers get online. Yeah, he told me like, yeah. yo, Blasi about to drop a laundry bag. Just want to let you know because you gave me a laundry bag and everything's good. And I told him it's all love. And they told me today, like, yeah, bro, people were tripping. And it's like, guys, like, just because you did it first doesn't mean that. Like, I, mean, I didn't create laundry bags. Exactly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And you're probably and, not the first person to put your spin on a laundry bag. And I'm not going to no. be the last for no. years. They're yeah. going to do that until Shopify. Laundry breaks bags down. have been around for so long. Do you think yeah, some other lady hasn't even, like, custom sewn herself a nice, yes. cool laundry bag? Oh, you know what I mean? like, and, but with that being said, like, as a creator, you got to learn to, like, accept that, like, things are going to come before and after you. Mm -hmm. And every creative comes <laughs> to a point where like they feel like they've got fucked over because oh i came to the market with this first someone mm -hmm. bit me but wait until you come to something thinking that you're on some shit mm -hmm. and then fucking little old billy from instagram is gonna be like this motherfucker just copy me look at this shit like, I did what the fuck yeah. yeah you know how many times that man that's just been happening I mean, since the fucking the only beginning. thing that is important is that you just live a true life and you're able to show or like whenever someone makes something that I'm about to make or that I've made I DM and I'm like yo bro this is super dope by the way I'm finna what drop you something just like this what if you've never interacted or never seen I DM like, them every single time just so 
if a motherfucker wants to start a campaign after I drop it, they can't be like, this motherfucker never hit me up. No, how? But how, nah, do, you come, but how I, do you come across them? No, I, I, I'm big on the internet, man. Like, I be I be scavenging through that hole, mm. bro. Yeah, but look. But, but, but Hassan just said, if you... Like, what if you've never heard of them? So you, you've never heard you've never of them. Heard how, do you, how, do you know, how do you know to contact them? You've never seen their shit. Nothing yeah, like that. It would that. have to be like a friend would show it to me or send it to yeah, me, yeah, me on like my that. radar. But if they're not on my radar and they DM me one day like, yo, you fucking piece of shit, you copied me. I'll be like, cool, let's go to court. I'm going to have my documents <laughs> on what I brought and what how I came about it. All these date created, date notified. You can't change that information on Nigga your said, MacBook. Nigga said, cool, let's go to court. You're a fucking sicko, bro. Nah, but honestly, like... On some real shit That shit is one of the most annoying things Because it Like No fucking disrespect to anybody But like It always be the people That like You fucking never even seen their Instagram before That yeah. Like those be the people that be Swearing by By life That fucking be Somebody your own stole kind, some shit man. For, Swearing that somebody stole some shit Like to I be don't honest, think I that, have a race that hates me more than my Hispanics And that shit breaks my heart I also honest, have a, a, a harder group that was, rocks with me Isn't that your uh, Would you say that's like a bigger demographic It's my biggest love and my biggest critics You know mm -hmm. But I still <clears> love them <throat> You feel me I'm Mexican <laughs> I still I love them I can't change that Yeah no, nah, I think I think that it's uh, It's about Just like you said Proving a point And just Letting your uniqueness speak for itself, the fucking shit that you come up with, bro, the shit that you think of is fucking light years ahead of niggas, bro. It's bar and none. that's gonna and that's gonna that's gonna always like shine through at the end of the day. You feel me? Yeah, I, I just love a good uh, <laughs> challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like I love it every time I make something. It's like people start to realize, pick up the pieces. Like okay, it's hard for them to like. You know what I'm saying? Like the gimmick, the 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 gig would be up if I was really just on some weird. Yeah, like dry shit. You feel me? No, that's a fact. But um, I do also want to say shout out to everybody who you know helped out with the the, the drop. You know, you guys went crazy for me. Which what, what, what was your most recent drop? The candle, right? The candle. I dropped the camel. The <laughs> the candle. The scammer tea. The um the 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 wallet uh sticker pack, and two uh, and a knit and the knit and then two shirts and uh you know y'all what really killed it and then we got a. Bend over Becky set to drop um in the next coming weeks. This shit man. is hard, bro. So. This ashtray right over here. Also, too, bro. Thank you so much for gifting me one. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. Thank you so much. Thank I got you, one bro. as well, right over there. I gift y'all then, cause y'all actually use the product. You feel me, y'all? Y'all be wearing nothing personal without me asking. I love watching Yuri stream on a random Wednesday. He might he might be at his computer. He might do the traditional tent talks angle, but there might be like always MP product. You feel there's me? hell. Yeah. So MP it's like everywhere. even if my boy had like a hundred thousand or a hundred followers, like I respect shit both of y'all for just repping me heavy like that. I, yeah, I actually got a hella. Uh, I I got your uh, the money stack in my corner. That's mm -hmm. Actually, that's, that stays on stream as well. Hey, you have one. Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. But the the uh, piggy bank, right? Yeah. But yeah. speaking of that, dude, uh, I I think I already said earlier that like Ali was the, the the goat of this you know RV trip. But I want to give a huge shout out to Toke as well, just just to them both in general for dude they've helped me out with so many crazy fucking streams and like with this whole trip in itself like when I was getting sick and shit Toke is helping take over the stream while I was like cuddled up in a corner in a blanket shivering and shit like that <laughs> like you were just helping hella hella so you, I you a have a strong support system man you got no, facts you, you got yeah. good best friend right here no you and that's me, why man. I would like I, I, I made an Instagram post after the Vegas trip when I was like saying that like one thing I realized is like how grateful I am for the people I have around me you know what I mean like and it just like uh, it's like kind of weird. Like I'm grateful I, for you, Yuri. I swear to God, put me on a lie detector test. Thank like, you. I really yeah. rock with you, bro, and I'm, I'm glad for everything that you've taught me. And we wouldn't. That we, I'm learning from you right now, because like, uh, you don't get the credit you deserve, but you put everybody onto the streaming shit, bro. Uh, no, no, I am crowning you as facts as, as the stream biggest, king. as the biggest streamer. That's a fact. <laughs> the, biggest <laughs> the biggest streamer, streamer. <laughs> because you, you you put you put battery, you put a con you put context in front of people on like what could be possible and what could be done. And like I think that you do not get the respect, bro. You deserve. I know that's a Thank fact, you, bro. Because the reason why me and Ali started Split Mode TV was because we was at Yuri, inspired by my boy. Yuri, yeah, we was at Yuri Riley's house one day. And these fools just on stream, just talking, chilling, eating food. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm <laughs> like, dude, food. I have a whole PC at home. We should fucking do this. Yeah, this exactly. Dope. Yuri inspired me to stream, bro. He's yeah. the first. As soon as I met him, 
bro, I've always wanted to know a stream. I always wanted to stream. Like, how do you do that? It took me years to get to that point to actually get on camera. Yeah. But, like, you feel me? He's he's still the only person I know that does this shit. Shout out to Lucha. He does, too. Mm -hmm. But my boy Yuri does this shit. the IRL shit He lives crazy. and breathes this shit. And I saw him go from a fan to actual creator. You know bro. what I'm saying? Well, at least I think I did. I probably came in a little too late. Uh, I I don't know. Probably to be honest, like when I uh, when I was like first first met you. Actually, no. When I first met you, I, I was still living with my parents, and at that point, I was streaming at like uh like I don't know five six viewers or something like that. Thank you. Um, yeah, but, you came to stream at my birthday party when I turned twenty five. Yeah, bro. So you look, had three. And I, was just, I was about to bring up that stream because I was watching that stream from Switzerland. Oh really? Yeah. What? Yes, bro. That was a funny ass night that too. Was fucking and bro, hilarious. at that time to Someone me, killed it. That was like a super <laughs> successful stream at that time to me when, when we had like thirteen. Would have been a better memory. Yeah. I remember being so juiced on that. But uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? I completely forgot. That shit was ass. I hit the oh, I hit the blow once. Great I time, bro. I Worst birthday ever. Oh, oh, nice, bro. Oh God. That stream was so funny. As, that stream was <laughs> funny. As, is that shit still I'm up? Petty, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back up. and watch that. Shit. That shit was funny as fuck, bro. Be, I be watching Yuri's streams. Oh, oh. Uh, I'll be running them back sometimes. This, this is what lie. this is what I was gonna say is uh, lie, about chat. being appreciative of the people I have around me. I feel like when I was like first, <clears throat> when I was uh, you know doing things like where like I wasn't really pursuing my interests right I was like you know uh just doing things like based off like oh I gotta do this I gotta do that and I, I felt like the people I was meeting and like my certain work environments were like they were cool and I made friends but they weren't like people I got along with like on a deeper level it's like you're cool in a co-worker basis like at work on a but shallow then, level but then out, off work you guys level. you guys ain't really chilling and drinking a beer together or like friends like that you know yeah. and I feel like uh only after like I really started like doubling down and really pursuing uh you know trying to get into the content creation field that like i really met more, and people say there's so many fake people in la and shit but i feel like i met so many actual genuine cool you know like fucking uh creative driven people that like oh, i feel God, like oh, you, i haven't really met out of the fucking creative like entrepreneurial type world you know what i mean like you meet a specific type of person who's like willing to take risks like a little bit more creative i don't oh, know not, oh, not really caring of like other people's opinions and all that stuff and like I would have never met you guys if I had yeah. not, um, you know, like done this stuff. It takes one foot in front of the other to create something like Biggest Brother. I'm just so thankful <laughs> to have y'all around me, man. Like, I'm proud of my whole friend group to keep it a hundred, like, because you guys are an ecosystem, you know. I'm a no, B. No, that's a fact. I'm bro. a B. You're a badger. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? And you just, you're a hawk. <laughs> I'm a you dolphin. I get my boy's a salamander, bro. Oh my god, the salamander <laughs> shit. No, nah, but honestly, no. that 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 ecosystem shit is some real shit, bro. Because like, <coughs> even me just like having the access to come here and work and like, you know, bounce ideas off of people or fucking, you know, like have like just just be around a creative space and just watch y'all. Like like even if we aren't directly like doing something, just being that's around that, that energy. That's that synergy right there, man. For real, bro. Yeah. Like, you feel me? You can't buy that. Facts. Nah, nah, can't find it dead you know? ass. <coughs> I mean bro my mom always like told me like it was something like along the lines of like you can never like level up with bums you can't you man can. yeah bro you are you are who you hang with that's why it's like uh yeah you, 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 you are what you eat that's what they say you feel me you're, you're uh you're an average of the five people you surround yourself with the most on a financial level on a mental level you're an average of all of them from your right. high homies to your low homies you're there mm -hmm. and uh you know I, I think that um fuck what I want to tell y'all right now Something about uh, you said you are what you eat. It becomes it becomes like fucking dodgeball. It feels like dodgeball to keep it real with y'all. Just seeing like you know as you get older, you just start seeing all your homies get hit. They're out the game. You Bro, know what I mean? Yeah. Man, on, on, on like a financial level, it really feels like dodgeball. Bro, that's a fact. how you start off with like a hundred fifty on each side, and it's like he got hit, he got hit, bah, bah. Not yeah. literal, you know, rest yeah. in peace to anyone, but like. On a financial, on like a dream level, you exactly, know. Exactly, bro. So yeah. I'm, I'm glad to just share this game of dodgeball with y'all <laughs> while we still here. You feel bro, me? Bro, I've seen like, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people go. That's just depressing. That should be breaking my heart. It'd be like another one bites the dust, man. I was told the other day that like one of my closest homies who taught me how to do all this shit, man. Like, man, my boy had a had to pick up an entry level job at a um at a food spot but there's nothing wrong with that it's just like yeah, it reminds me every day it's like bro like now every time someone drops you you're sharing their dream you feel yeah. me so it's like it becomes That's more of a responsibility shit. you feel me it's like because now they're they're living through you vicariously you know yeah nah mm -hmm. this should get tough this should get tough out here man yeah, bro. i'm so thankful for like the position i'm in and like 
just shit I worked for in my lifetime and shit like that, bro. So like, yeah, I've, I'm just forever thankful, bro. Real talk. So I'm just happy we could. Do, I'm able like you know, on a random Monday or Sunday, I can be like, oh yeah, I can go to a fucking RV trip and do whatever the fuck I yes, want. Yes, bro. Yeah. This is a crazy job we have, man. Every day I be stressed and thinking about. Bro, like, I'm not gonna. I'm I'm not gonna lie. This this uh. This like upcoming um collection that I've been working on, bro. <laughs> this has been this has been like like ev- every time that oh, I yeah, do sure. every time that I do a release, it's like you don't know, bro. Like this could be the one that's just like it just flops and nobody like nobody likes it or whatever. <laughs> yeah, nothing, shit like it that. It feels like and like continue. and just um I feel like you know like someone like you, you probably have like you probably have like exited that that mindset no. just because of like no nah, it's, my, it's, it's my biggest fucking yeah, enemy yeah. is myself because especially with these products bend over becky was made two years ago yeah. i had this voila Damn. oh my god it's a great product two years ago idea in my head two years you, later that honeymoon phase wears off you don't see like, this no longer as something that could sell out potentially yeah, you start stressing like, out on it start thinking like fuck what if this actually doesn't do good every drop i have that problem even though people will fucking yell at me saying i want this all the comments are there all the likes whatever yeah. all all, yeah, all, all you, the bells and whistles they're, yeah. they're all clicking i'm not gonna lie <laughs> that like, will never get rid of my anxiety about look, like is this anything that's gonna sell yeah and then once this shit hits it's almost like whew, cool yeah. i passed no, dodgeball no, no, <laughs> you know like, what i'm yeah. saying yeah and like and I, I think that that's that's one thing that people don't speak on enough is like the whole social media shit like it, for everybody the social media shit doesn't translate into actual numbers and actual sales yeah and shit like that and uh you got crafted yeah and like like it's kind of the same with music too it's like the most the most popping rapper might not be the most popping nigga on instagram or like the the, the person with the most streams might not like know how to be funny on tiktok you, Vice feel versa. Like, no, that's a fact. you know what i'm saying and like bro i'm telling you every time like before I do a drop, bro, I get fucking this weird nervous ass feeling. I didn't feel like like kind of OK about it until today when I posted this shirt and I did see a lot of people fucking with it, which is like a good feeling after you've been working on shit for so long. But that's still it's a like peekaboo a, game. Yeah, but that's still like I said, it still does not necessarily translate into when oh, i oh yeah you know when i do that drop next next friday by the way when i do that oh, drop yeah. likes and comments don't matter that's what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. you feel me you can have fucking a thousand comments <laughs> and fucking sell 10 shirts literally no, that's yeah the, and then you, you start me? looking at the stuff in your closet man because i'd be introspective with this shit i'd be in my closet like man blasey out of all the things in this closet which of these were instagram posts that you liked Exactly. Like four, three items in here. You yeah. feel me? It's like that's not always the case. And like, yeah. you know, I, I do better every drop at un, and forecasting and understanding. You know, like what to expect. But like, bro, I'm every not... every time it's a reality check. Like, nah, bro, you doing it? Keep going crazy. You yeah. feel me? Like, like they don't give these numbers to fucking Dick yeah. and Jane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna lie, man. You have fucking you're like a sensei with this shit bro like not even just on the design part i'm talking about on the like getting it done part on the fucking sampling production i really shipping bro, i like, swear to god like i'll jump off this building if i'm lying i really <laughs> want to be the best to ever have done this shit bro. i swear to god i'm not kidding like nah, I believe you, so bro. it's like every morning i get pissed off and i'm just like no i'm not there yet like i'm nowhere satisfied to where i am Listen, in life like i really bro, you, but i'm saying like you having that drive has put so many other people on like i'm not even just talking about just the the people that you work with every day in the office like bro literally like i'm like taking pictures of the products a certain way because I, i've seen you do it or i'm yeah. like i'm like 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 the way that i'm rolling this shit out is directly from because i know the, the way that you do it and i love to play that role you know what i'm saying like that's there's nothing that i'm doing that you can't do you know but that's what i'm and the stuff that i can't uh teach is just the shit that makes me special you know so yeah. the shit that i can teach let me take advantage of that yeah you know yeah no but like let me share that man this nigga be saying some shit bro. but I, I yeah i was i was revved up on a, a food community this i need that ain't even a word reveled isn't no, that like some yeah, like uh, uh, like some shampoo that girls wear? <laughs> what I, revolt? I don't I know. No, no, no. 
Oh, but nah, what 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 are you what are you saying? What yeah, are you I'm, trying? So, I'm saying that uh, the food community had a really dope little office. You feel me? They they, 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 they how many me. squirts of this THC <laughs> shit have you had, dude? <laughs> like seven today, man. <laughs> oh like my 700 god, milligrams. How long was oh, yeah, your yeah. podcast with the food community? Like an hour. I ha- guess because like when I got there, disaster was there. Shout oh, out to whoa. my boy, disaster, and like. He he always, he always forgets what I do and shit like that. Oh but really? He's like, who are you again? It doesn't matter because yeah. he's the goat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, shout out to I'm not. Doctor. He ain't entitled to to know who I am. Like nobody you, nobody's entitled to know who anybody yeah, is. No, that's that's yeah. facts. Anybody who like takes offense to some shit like that clearly is just yeah. in the like in the wrong right. headspace. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, that's yeah crazy. but I, I came with. That's Gish. the most vain shit I ever heard in my life, bro. But it, it was good to see him catch up, and I tell him all the time. Like I remember when I met him at No Jumper, I told that fool like, "Hey, bro, I used to design just watching your fucking mm-hmm. your, your, freestyles, your freestyles, and your battles. battles and shit." So like, just seeing you in person is dope, and I was able to catch up with him a little. That's crazy. And then just meeting the food community, they're great people. I think it's a great platform. You know, <laughs> I think that they're going crazy, man. So shout out to the food community, shout bro. I still remember to this day. Uh, the first time i met disaster when he came in um to uh, the other office uh the first time i met him i didn't know who he was right and like he uh, him um uh he him and lush already knew my name like they were like yo like yuri bob like what's up and i was like what like i didn't even know who they were so i was like kind of like took back by that but then you told me you were like because you were there that day you were like bro disaster's a fucking legend blah 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 whatever and then like for some reason it was like very random but that day you like came over to my house for some reason and then, uh, and then we were just like even off stream, and then we were just like both smoking hella, and you were like, "Bro, you don't know who Disaster is? Like, let me show you." And we, he just spent like two hours just showing me hella Disaster fucking rap battles. Yeah. And I was just like, "Bro, this that was, fool is hilarious. He's intense as fuck. He's super funny, and like, and like some of the disaster, uh, some of the battles he was showing me, like because of some of the jokes he was saying, I was thinking like this has to be early two thousands. He's like." throwing hella crazy race jokes in it oh, like yeah. he's going crazy with everything he could you could think of and i'm thinking like bro this has to be early 2000s i'm looking at it, it's like 2022 yeah. 2021 yeah. i'm like bro, bro he doesn't <clears throat> give a fuck bro no nah, battle rapping them niggas it's just like an unwritten rule of not giving a fuck yeah yeah bro like that shit is just wild bro I also remember, it helps for him sorry no i said i remember this one nigga brought out like some niggas like dad's Snitch paperwork during That's like a crazy. battle oh or some goodness. shit, bro. They be doing crazy bro, shit. Bro, just going wild. Disaster bro. was sharing the story of how he uh, uh he was battle rapping somebody and uh, on like in the crowd. Hopefully, getting the story right. In the crowd was somebody claiming to like fuck uh his opponent's bitch. He was like, bro, I fuck so and so's bitch. You gotta have me on there. <coughs> Wow. And uh, apparently, like they, he had brought him on stage, and like it wasn't true or such shit uh, like that. It looked crazy. Wow, <laughs> you know, but uh, the lengths the niggas wow, go to, you know, that's crazy. But but you mentioned Lush for a second, bro. Uh, Lush definitely, you know, he has an interesting uh, uh, connection <coughs> with like what I got going on. Like he knew somebody in my past who uh, uh, went to the same rehab as him. Oh wow, mm-hmm. yeah, redacted. Uh, you know, my boy. Uh, that's an original redacted. That, to that, be honest. That, that's Whoa. that's one of the OG redacted. That's like that's that's top three redacted. There needs to be a re- there needs to be a re- there needs to be a redacted tier list. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. Please, somebody in the chat. Just all silhouettes. You can't see who they make, are. Make make a redacted like iceberg. A, <laughs> a redacted iceberg of like if you know you we need know. bro yeah. we need the we need the fucking disconnected iceberg. We'll be like the deepest thing. Like Yuri never fucked an orange. He said that. Bro, wow. the dude, the dude, biggest bro pod, the one who made a doc on all of us. He's, I think he's working on the Toke one, right? Um, uh, remember we talked about it? Like he made that, like it was the, I watched the, the one of you guys is really fucking the interesting. AI, the AI one? Yours exactly. too. Imagine he made Those a, are good. Imagine he made like a fucking like iceberg redacted thing. Oh, uh, I'm deleting my computer. So this redacted is known as. Bro, we <laughs> need bro, that bro, iceberg. is fucking funny as shit. The YouTube is already enough, man. Like if you search up Blazzy enough, like it, you just start getting these like foul videos. Foul videos? Oh, trust me. Wait, wait, I know what you're oh, talking yeah. about. Yeah, bro, listen. And then, and then, like it's, significant others might see that shit. That shit's a lot, bro, man. You, bro, listen, man. I wish, I wish I could delete shit on the internet. <laughs> yeah, over with for that. Yeah, yeah it, as soon as it's out, it's out. <laughs> or, or, or whole podcast. <laughs> yeah, our whole podcast. Is no, crazy. like a, like a podcast episode. Uh, nigga, I, <laughs> yeah, that's I a lot of shit. I wish I could delete, bro. I feel <laughs> But which, like, which episode specifically would you yeah. want deleted? Uh, just like shit that I did prior to like October twenty twenty. Oh, I wasn't. I was joking. <laughs> and now you're being. You just made it easier for people to find it. I was literally kidding. Okay, well, let yeah. you tell the card. If you could delete one podcast, what would what would you delete? I can't think of one thing. 
<laughs> There's several. No, I, I, I can't think of was like it the Birkenstocks with the lime scooter. Oh, <laughs> actually, yeah. Lime scooter. If I could, if I could probably redact one, like just cut out one little piece, it's probably be. Pro- I don't know. I wouldn't cut it out because it's like nothing was happening. But it's like to this day, this shit haunts me. This little mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a mistake. I said Birkenstocks. There you go. And to this day, this confusion haunts me. But this still sounds crazy. Does not sound like it makes any sense. Bro. Oh my god. Right. You, no one's ever said Birkenstocks. There you go. Yeah, I did because I was like, I was looking at a picture bro, of Birkenstocks, you, and I was like, you I was don't like, gotta explain. I was like, what shoes are they? Birkins. Oh, Tell it to the judge. And then Riley's like Birkenstocks. I was like, oh Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks, nigga. That's exactly what I heard. <laughs> Anyways, uh, no, I don't think I have anything bro. I would want to dele- have deleted, dude. To be honest, like, what about you, Tok? Um, probably the fucking the ocean water shit because people DM me that shit every day. It's kind of annoying now. What's the ocean water thing? <laughs> I can't yeah. imagine you get annoying by, by annoyed that? by a joke. <laughs> no, but just because like it gets annoying because like, all right, bro, I know I said it. I'm a dumbass. But, like, fucking leave me alone. What did already. you say? How would you? Because I thought I thought like. The, all right, so they it was oh this a producer named OG Parker and I thought he yeah, says ocean OG water. <laughs> oh, you're that super, little mistake, bro. That's you're such thing. a surfer. No, yeah, but right. Like, like but, no, but not like that. It just, <laughs> you just think about it all. Nah, day. keep the chat going with that, man. <laughs> you deserve like that. that. <laughs> you deserve another Do two not years. stall this nigga it's out not like about that. that. Bro. It's just people DM me that shit all the time, and I'm I'm actually <laughs> trying to find DMs and shit, and it's just like ocean water, ocean water, like five times. Well, if I'm you like, think Bruh. if you think old jokes are bad, I still get attacks to this day, like. Someone at McDonald's and there's like a sprite with like a like chicken or something like that. Like, <laughs> bro, 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 bro. every day you, you know. brought that upon yourself. You bro. like forced this pe- down people's throats. It, it, Paul, ocean yeah, you, water. Yeah, you really did. You you forced that, that. was an that accident. Wait, yeah, that was this is an accident, bro. Do you know what niggas have will never let go? Like since the day the high roller sponsored ad. No, since the day that <laughs> no that oh my god. <laughs> That's that's like the second one. The, the bitch first, with the fucking the the, the shit in yes, the back yes, button yes, up. Yes. No, no, no. The first one though, the first one T Rail was rocking it too. <laughs> Listen, the first one is the fucking hotel house phone. Like when niggas are in the like like w- when you get off the elevator at your fucking hotel room and it's a house phone and it says house phone or it'll be like in yeah. the fucking hallway oh, yeah. you oh, walk into the room. Goodness. Bro. Every time somebody's in a hotel in Vegas, what are you doing here, buddy? They fucking send a picture. (laughs) I ran into you in Vegas. (laughs) And I'm just like, bro. He literally (laughs) said that. I'm like, bro, you are literally the millionth person that have sent sent me this. This is not original, bro. Yeah, I hate when people tell me, like, ship your order out. Like, bro, shut up already, man. Oh my God, the order fell off the back of the We heard that one already. Just bro. kidding, no. Oh my god, bro. No, hit him nothing personal support. Bro, for me, it's IG videos, bro. No, There's like literally. two specific IG videos of like a dude in glasses who's like on a hiking trail and he gets pushed over and he gets super mad. People send that shit to me all the time. Oh. And then this other video of a dude in glasses who's like doing a crip walk while throwing up gang signs. I get tagged in that too. Oh, bro. Like, I get Yuri. Yeah, I people get, send I me that tag- like every day. The, new one, the new one is I get tagged in is the dude with the glizzy shit. And they're like, Yuri, this is Yuri. Like, bro. What glizzy It's shit? like some dude with glasses and he's like playing with like fucking hot dogs or some <laughs> shit, bro. It's fucking annoying. My, it's, like, it's not even fucking funny. My it favorite Instagram like account that's like hella weird is just like that dude who be like trying to associate all this podcasting shit with like 666 and like masonry shit. I did not Oh my that. God. <laughs> I know. I know exactly Nigga, Wait, with this about. podcast? No, like, like, like he tries <laughs> to just, universe. like the whole universe that we're all like, they... It's crazy. Even though this universe here is separated to that universe, I'm like the only kind of remaining little connection. No, we're no, all no, no, still no. saying this. A universe here? is like all of this shit encompassing each other. Yeah. Not, not like, not the individual planets. Oh, I this see. is you on know Instagram. Me? Yeah, no, YouTube. Nigga, oh, what you, oh, YouTube okay, too. Okay. Making like 30 minute videos about. So this we're saying, well, he be tagging me Bro, in the Instagram all of us, post. Everybody, all of us, we're, everybody. We're I didn't all, know. We're all fucking like boiling babies and like drink drinking their blood for fucking youth. What well, Yuri has it true. easy because do do he has no, proof that, that he does it. Oh no, nah. he's what? on he's on live stream all day, so exactly. he has proof that he. How he can honestly, I drink a baby's blood? I've been Yuri on is the e- is most likely to catch a body because he has what the cleanest the alibi. I was on stream. Oh, or le- oh wait, I'm the most likely to not catch a body. Oh, or most you likely are, to and get away with it. No, How? because he's like to stream. get away with it, I would have to be off stream, and they would be like they'll coordinate it. They'd be like, "Bro, he was nah, off stream for bro, this amount of TTS time." TTS is snitching. Over. No, you're gonna be on stream. <laughs> you're gonna be on stream, and then like it'll be proof that you're fucking uh, 
that you were uh, like self defense. But but honestly, uh, or maybe something like that. That's how that that'll be the only way that'll it'll yeah, help you. Right. Out. But what you're really doing is just hosting a live stream of a pre recorded. Stream you were doing kind of like what we do with well, the show. You know, uh, we well, don't do that with the show. What the fuck? Shout out um, to the live chat. Man. But uh, dude, uh, um, what was I gonna say? Is uh, someone actually just recently uh, went to jail for that? Some dude saw that. Some dude killed his wife and basically uh, he That's killed crazy. killed his wife. Pre recorded like an eight hour live stream and then like he he uh, and then he like posted the live stream and like acted as if it was an actual live stream and in the live he was like, hey guys, I'm trying out something new today and I'm not reading the chat. I'm just gonna see if I can, you know, it's a different vibe, blah blah, whatever. And then like he act, and that was his alibi that he, you know, yeah, he, oh, this stupid ass yeah, nigga. And guy. they were able, the, the police were able to go into uh, 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 his computer and shit. I've seen that exact same coverage, and they were stupid able to see nigga. that the uh, the file was like created like days before the actual stream. That's happened. crazy. And the, the the whole time, bro's just like. Yeah, man, I'm really tired. You know, I, I, I spent all day today at the laundromat. You know, that thing takes about two hours, right? So, you know, I just wanted to be on stream for the rest of the night with you guys. But uh, I really just need to focus on work and the game today, guys. So no chat uh, interactions. <laughs> The game. <laughs> That's the worst on alibi. Game. He almost could have got away with that if they didn't like <coughs> check the log. I'm like, look, he's on live. It's like, good. I think his yeah. like search history might have been like weird too. Oh right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, as soon as the crime happened, like the search history was like how yeah, to like, get rid of a body, how yeah. long it takes the body to decompose, oh, like wow. shit like that. So dude. we know what the wrong thing to do is. Like, don't go on Google. Do you go on like? Yahoo, like what? Don't how do you find these how answers? About, how about like don't kill your wife first? Yeah, don't yeah, try to figure out start getting away with first. murder. Not how everyone that? has that decision. Oh, oh, what do you mean? You're perfect, <laughs> bro. He's everybody has that decision. You're more likely to kill someone. Hey, bro, that's <coughs> first of all crazy. Hey, I second, but like if you're really gonna do it, just go buy a different phone or something. Oh my god. Okay, what? so let's stop trying to figure yeah, out how to what murder someone. Yeah, what the fuck someone. is That's going weird. on right I'm now? Saying, hey, like, but I want to ask everyone here. I kind of asked Toke earlier, but I want to ask House One and Blasi. Do you guys see the? Because it's just been going hella viral. Well, yeah. two things have been going. Like I haven't had any chance to really be on my phone much during this whole past week. But two things I've noticed on Instagram is the Wine W Melly case, which I feel like we should talk about, and then also the YK Osiris Suki Sukiyana Suki, Suki, Suki thing. First of all, let's talk about YK Osiris. How the fuck do you keep fucking up, bro? <laughs> like, what Yo. the fuck is in your, like, food? He, like, bro, I hate seeing... <laughs> no, that's fucked up. there. No, nah, okay, but, like, the other things that, like, people just be on his ass about is not necessarily him fucking up. He, like, owed oh, Drake just, money. Yeah, like, it's just, like, it's just more, like, funny shit to laugh at him about, but, like... The jacket. It was always been, like, yeah, little yeah. roast and Yeah, shit. that's, like, just, like, little dumb shit, <laughs> but, like... He has, like... he. It, like pause for like sounding like he, it's just giving little homie, <laughs> <laughs> little bro. It's giving little. He's bro. the littlest bro. Yeah, he is the littlest bro. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's I'm just not like gonna lie. It, that was little bro energy. Like the whole everything he does is little bro. It's like you're not mad at him. It's like. <laughs> Damn. Come on, bro. No, people are mad at him. Apparently, I saw this update post that Sukiyana's mom wants to f uh, fuck him up. Like she wants to fade him. Okay, yeah, so here's the thing, right? It's okay, like, can I say one thing before you say that? Women gotta stop trying to challenge men to fight. That's retarded, bro. Like literally, just if you're gonna go, if if you're gonna say something, like he did something, just handle it legally, bro. Do not try to challenge some grown ass man to a fight. That's so retarded, bro. Yeah. Who? No, nah, I felt that, yeah. but I I think that uh, uh you know I saw I saw the chat, you know what I'm saying, and all these uh, uh these these uh these blog posts sharing it, and, and everyone's kind of like, man, like. They'll be tripping on Sukiyana. Well, it's like I don't. I what never. Did, what, see, did, what did she do? That's a well. She's to a. That. Uh, she's like super ratchet. You know, like she might just walk up and twerk on you. Unless there's Not like no, a, no, unless no. there's like a reference to a clip of a guy being uncomfortable. Like like That's yo, what I'm get like, off of me. Like you can't really make those assumptions. It's like you feel me. It's like but it's there all hasn't been anything to prove what you're saying though. It's all fun and games until someone feels uncomfortable. Time out. Yeah. Hold on. Hold That's on. That's a fact. That's. She just be walking down the street, just no. twerking on random niggas. No. I'm no. like, what no. the fuck? I mean, like he 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 was just saying like the energy that that was a hyperbole. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. But yeah. isn't but isn't that kind of like a that fucked like up a, argument? Because that's almost like saying like a girl can deserve to be hit on because she's wearing a short no, dress or something. No, that's exactly the energy, exactly. Yeah. And it's like, it's a it's it's kind of a double standard, but really, it, okay, it's not a double standard. What it is is just like. Just because a girl she seems promiscuous, yeah, whatever. Doesn't like, mean she's gonna kiss don't mean, any dude. Yeah, that don't mean just that any nigga that's just trying to throw some dick down her throat is down to engage sexually with her. Like you could, you could, 
you know, it's nothing wrong with shooting your shot. It's nothing wrong with like, you know, making it known that you're trying to fuck with her or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. even if it's like as a like, you know, for the internet or whatever, like for the, the video. But like, nigga. Oh, like, hey, what up? How's yeah, it going? but but taking it to physical touch and then ki- literally kissing her, and right. she's like, oh my god, several no. times. My boy Bro, went for like three times, yeah, like three times. He was like grabbing her by the neck, turkey style. Like, nigga, I'm like chill. I wonder bro. if Suki Hana got a man. I uh, don't look like bro, it, but she, she, don't, she didn't want one. No, nah, but it's not even that. It's like, and what's up with Funny Mike, bro? You should have called him out. Yeah, I, mean, I saw someone. I I forgot who posted, but someone it's probably said, a hella uncomfortable situation to be in. Like you don't know if like, it's like pre planned, or, or, or like you don't even know if what the relationship is with one another. Yeah, or like you don't know if she's actually down, but she's like trying to downplay it. You don't know if she completely is not down and she's scared and you need to help her. Like that's what it I was could thinking. be. It could be so many different fucking mm-hmm. angles, so many views of the shit. I like, saw. I forgot who it was, but someone called those dudes out that was sitting next, like on either side, either side of them. Uh, they were like, "Dude." Why didn't yeah. you guys do anything? But, but that's a hindsight. But ass. if you're like hosting something, I bet you they they're all they're not all best friends. I'm sure. Yeah. Like you know, they probably know each other, but they're not coming thinking like, I know what their relationship is, yeah. or like for that. But to I'm happen. saying like it's it's easy for any for anybody to have a hindsight ass opinion and say what they would do after they watch a video exactly. of, of somebody else not doing something. Now right. that you know the full but, context. Yeah, but in that moment, you don't fucking know what, like, yeah, you exactly. don't know what's going on. You, you can know? watch someone react to, like, but a to crazy be, situation be like, why'd you do that? But you're like, I, but look, if, you know, you don't know what's going on. As a, as a man, as a young man growing up, to anybody out here watching this shit, don't just put your lips on, on a girl without her permission. Yeah, that was a Don't do and, that. And, and, and not even that. that. Nigga, talk to the girls. Don't grab them, bro. Just yeah, like, just, for me, like, like, don't physically touch a girl that you don't know. Also, I think Facts. I think YK Osiris has the same effect that like a lot of other artists that have like a lot of female fans who are like singers. You know, like a, maybe like a Chris Brown or something like that. When yeah. they go to their concerts, they probably have. Just women throwing, you know, remember the old videos of uh, R. Kelly, like the women just throwing themselves at him, like at the concerts, just like yeah, going yeah. crazy for him. Yeah. I'm sure like YK Osiris is probably like used to, you know, women just probably throwing themselves at him, being so, you know, down to like, you yeah. know, like he hook don't, up or whatever. Like he don't necessarily give me the vibe that <laughs> he don't Bruh, necessarily. this shit got me high I as could fuck, tell. man. I fuck, I'm getting thirsty though. Uh, do you want some water or something? Yeah, let me get that. Instead, yeah, yeah. But look, so, um. <laughs> I don't know. He don't. He don't necessarily give me vibes that like he's like a rapey ass nigga all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's a I, crazy I like, ass title. I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, I think that he made a misjudgment as far as like, because I like, I'm. It's not like I fuck with his music and I'm trying to defend him. I'm just, I'm looking at it like, I'm looking at it like objectively. Objectively, yeah. I'm trying to like give the nigga a bone. Like, don't do that. Just don't don't touch Pause. don't touch women without their permission. For sure, and definitely don't just stick your fucking tongue down some girl's bro, throat. You, you think he put crazy, tongue? Crazy man. Yeah, he I don't for know. sure was putting tongue, bro. Oh my god. Because like a God. peck would have just been like you know, but like yeah, he didn't even peck her. He was, he like, was like grabbing her. I'm like, yo, that nigga got to chill. Bro. It'd be efficient. Like like niggas be trying to be hot. Like like niggas be trying bro, to be like oh like I'm a be like I'm gonna do this and she's gonna think that it's like sexy. And you doing the out? You <laughs> want some like, Justin nah. Timberlake shit, gang? Like how what? at the Super Bowl? Mm. Ripping uh, the titty what? up yeah, ripping the, yeah I'm just saying like bro Like why would you do that On camera like You yeah. feel me bro Like you bigger than that man Like at least Yeah you know, play it smooth bro Play it smooth bro You looking You looking crazy Like out here. if you really Trying to fuck her Or fuck with her Or whatever Play it That's smooth That's not the way why, to do it Why would Yeah why would you like Not take that off camera Like them niggas Was at an event Nah, nah, they was they was like like a, it was like an interview type shit. Do you think? It's, oh, it was, a, uh, it was, it was like a yeah, like they was like. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I'm do you a, think that there's a part of him that just wanted to go viral? Like he knew this was gonna be in bad taste. I I literally think I wouldn't that, put it past them. Listen, listen. Like I think that n- certain niggas just think that if if a female is talking nasty or she acting a certain way, like he probably like oh she got a song about eating niggas ass like. I'm gonna fucking. Uh, I'm about to fuck. Like no. Like bro. I like. She's she. Like, he's. Like, I, I want to see what that feel like. Like yeah. You feel Yo. me? Like that's that's, that's what niggas insane. be on, bro. But uh, just to switch gears, man. Uh, I don't. I haven't really been keeping up the, with the YNW Melly stuff. So if somebody can like catch me up to speed, I, I only. Saw... I just think that, bro. Like my boy. Like you feel me? That's not cool to uh, kill your homie. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Imagine we did that to one another. One of us like off the, off the three other dudes. With this nigga, Yo, man. What the? F- 
fuck is wrong? Am I saying anything out of pocket? Nah, no, 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 no. That that's the thing is that you're saying the most in pocket thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you're so in, in pocket po- that it's like you're so in pocket that it's hilarious because it's like exactly. That's it's like wow, obvious almost. <laughs> <laughs> like don't kill your homie, okay, or, okay. your loved ones, but okay. I saw. Well, I, I, I do want to say I saw one. Uh, like there's probably so much information that came out because the, dude yeah. the cases are being live streamed yeah. with the fucking chat with people fucking being funny and they're saying free mail like nice. all this shit and then they had like 53k live I thought that was kind of insane that they were live That's streaming the case I thought of that as well uh, that same thing as well <laughs> they learn from you oh my god uh, but yeah, anything, yeah. okay wait uh, but hold on this is what I was gonna okay. say is I saw one piece of information out of all the information that came out which I'm not updated on like yeah. uh, tokens mm-hmm. but uh, I'm sure all of us bar- are but uh Apparently, one of the dudes that died, his one of his quote unquote best friends that died, his dad came out and said that they were selling the YNW name so that like you know some company could buy it from them and then mer- make merchandise and like sell whatever all that shit using their name and shit. So cool. apparently, apparently they're selling the name and they're all going to get a certain cut. And uh, his dad, the dude uh, you know who died, he's saying that YNW Melly basically killed them so that he can have the full cut of the whole thing. To be I, honest, there's gonna be, so. there's yeah. gonna be there's gonna be fucking. 20 different scenarios that mm. people are just trying to paint as a motive and to be honest until we hear what happens i i don't want to hear we heard speculate. what happened wait wait man. the trial's no, still no, going no. on i, yeah, I think yeah. it's still going on but no, footage sure footage this. was not real. that we heard what happened but i'm saying like on that part until they tell us what they found out was the actual motive bro I don't want to hear nigga speculation no more. Yeah, it's been too long. It's been five years, bro. Yeah. They have footage of him get, getting years? in that's the same insane. car as. Uh, no, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro. Like, at this point, I. Like, at this point, it's like, what happened is kind of obvious, but it's just like, can they, can they prove that he did it? I can't imagine, like, having something uh just be the center of your life for that long like bro. five years ago when that shit happened like bro there's been oh, so much be, that's changed with me it's gonna be way longer than than that uh being the center of your life if he gets convicted that's his whole life period. that's gonna be actually com- the center of your life bro that kanye feature at that time is so different than a kanye feature now bro. Yeah, at that time bro. it was legendary that shit was already starting to get no, out no no down. i think nah, you're right you're right i think at nah. that time it was legendary it was, it was more like just like crazy he was for for an up and coming exactly kanye did not do that with like no random it it was basically i know he had a huge fan base but it was kind of like a random dude compared to kanye's close circle yeah that was like a huge big deal and then now it's giving him out like that still now he's still not he's still not just giving him so he has a a big thing around him now i've seen some stuff like talking about he's getting a death penalty is that true that's what they're trying to hit they had to get eight votes out of 12 for it to be possible yeah so look so so i think like si- since the case has been going on, I think they like returned the law over because like it, it, in Florida, I think they had took it away for a little bit. Right? Oh, really? I, like I don't that. know. I never. Then, that. I, I don't know. I think they had took it away for a little bit. Then it came back while he was in, in jail. Like, like yeah, like during the fucking trial, and it's over with. Damn. I don't know. Hey, don't he got like permanent grills too? I <laughs> think so. And uh, I think a lot of niggas that have permanent grills. Some, yeah, but like he's just shining in there. Some shit came yeah. out about how he was uh, he, his lawyer uh, uh, basically filed a complaint to the judge saying that they're giving him inefficient like uh, you know dental help and like of you course. know like the whole situation there's terrible and how his teeth are like rotting and like he's getting super sick from it and like they're trying to like get him out on you know some sort of like house arrest but oh. they're saying that those teeth welcome are fucking to, him up. Welcome to j- no exactly dude welcome to jail though it's like bro like these lawyers okay these lawyers are, are obviously always gonna say whatever they can to try to get their clients out that's what they're supposed to do mm-hmm. but sometimes it just be it just be like bro come on like of course it, of course they're not gonna take good care of a nigga's fucking grills dental grills <sighs> nigga got diamond grills in jail bro. that they can't take out that they you can't the, take out you got these seals working for 21 dollars an hour yeah they got Damn. diamond yeah they're like nigga you ain't getting no toothbrush actually <laughs> Put it in the toilet. Here you go. Oh, oh my some God. Weird, nigga, that's some, oh, some crazy, crazy shit. shit, bro. For real. Bro, have you, bro, have you seen the pictures of uh, fucking Fulton County, how it looks? No. Bruh. And how the sales, the sales look and shit. Like, they're literally so like. He's in Fulton for, County? Yeah, in Atlanta. Why is he in Atlanta? Didn't no, 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 no. Like no. I'm not, the... no, I was just saying, have you seen the oh. pictures of this jail? Yeah, that's yeah. where all the fucking YSL niggas are at. And that's where they found the, uh, they, they found somebody's body decaying. Bro, or some in shit Fulton like that. County? The walls are yeah. decaying yeah, in that, that bitch, bro. disgusting. Man. Like, yeah. I was, bro, I was, I was in there for like four days. 
Ugh. Oh my god. Damn. A gel in that sounds crazy, bro. And it, it was crazy. But it wasn't like was it dis- well <clears throat> I'm sure the permanent ones are probably more yeah, worse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. it, like in the just regular like it looked bad but it didn't look like how I seen it, bro. I seen this video. Uh, you y- y'all seen the video I think of the nigga with the knife and he's like he's like I don't know. He has some YSL nigga in his cell or some shit. Yeah. He's like, he's literally tracing the knife on his arm, like on some weird, like on really, some, yeah, like, Bro, like what the fuck, like oh nigga, you YSL, like oh like I'm on, you. but like anyway. Bro, that fucking cell that they was in looked nuts. Like it looked, Bro, it like, looks it, crazy. it looked like it looked like if you were in that bitch, you would get sick. Like it's fucking asbestos in the walls yeah, or some like shit. The walls look like, crazy. Like, it looked like fo- you would just get sick by even just being in the vicinity of people. That. Do yeah, Bro, like the, the floor looks like insane. Like the floor is like six, six different colors. Yeah, it's, and it's all like, like it's like all peeled apart. Yes. And like it's like weird, bro. God damn. Was, everything is like that. The sink is like that. Dude, but with the YNW Melly, I, I saw two <clears throat> like IG videos that came out where like apparently he uh like blew a kiss to the yeah, to the got, family or something like that. that. But yeah. I saw a hundred K a hundred K commented in a IG post, um, and he basically said that's cap, like don't listen to the media or whatever. Like, cause you really realistically you just see the close up video yeah. of him. You don't see where it's going yeah, to. Yeah. And also I, it didn't he, really he, look he, like he it was, hit like a like a prayer <clears throat> first or some shit. Too. It looked yeah. like it was like towards the room. That's like nigga, like I'm I'm letting it up to God. I'm letting it be. It's going whatever's happening is gonna happen. That's like, what it looked that's like. That's the energy I got. Exactly. I think I got on a nice ass suit too though, I ain't gonna lie. Did he? Yeah. I don't cat. Um, and then also there was like another uh, video. Apparently he like cried to the video of his uh, homie being put in uh, stretchers. But that yeah. whole case is insane, man. I wonder bro. how long this whole... Now that the trial's finally begun, I wonder how long it's going to take. Bro, none of their... Like, it's just fucked up because like people do shit and they don't... They think that they fully thought it out, but they didn't really fully think it out. Yeah. And like... People's excuses for shit just be don't be making no sense. Like if you're watching these interrogations and shit, like what is that his defense? Been, like I they wonder. they were saying, okay, so the, that the car got shot up. That the car got shot up, but it's like, bro, the ballistics show that the that it came from the other angle yeah. inside of the car. Yeah, who and nigga, they got y'all all on video in the car, like getting into the car, and they got all y'all fucking cell phone rec, uh, uh, like the the. Cell phones pinking off the towers yeah. of y'all being in the same vicinity <clears throat> for however allotted amount of time. That's like crazy. it just don't make no sense, bro. So, but it's like, so wait, YMW Melly was oh. driving. He was in the back. He was in the back. There's seat a video of him oh. getting in the same car as all the. But he was in the, the back seat behind him, niggas. He was in the back, and I think the homie that was alive was driving. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And okay. then yeah, yeah. The other two. The, no, that's like that's like if I popped you and then popped Yuri. And then me and Blasey fucking drove off and dropped our niggas off at the hospital. So he, oh, so he only that's shot, crazy. he only shot two, and then it, he didn't shoot the other nigga. No, the other nigga was like, like that's like it was them four in the car. Yeah, I sh- like yeah shoots him, shoots him together, and then him and Blasey. Fucking. If that's the case, that's so cold blooded. But then, I don't know up. where the fuck at uh, that. Close I don't know range. where I don't know where he got out of the car at because I think the the other nigga dropped them off. At the hospital, but by the time they got to the hospital, the <laughs> but that's was the part dead. that doesn't make sense. If they had, per- if he had purposely shot them, why would you drop them off to the hospital? You would probably, unless it's completely because, because terribly planned out. Because that's how you, that's how you fake make it look like, oh my god, we just got shot. Yeah, like we got shot at, and they got shot, and then because because <clears throat> I think there was some some point <clears throat> in the time of when the shooting happened until like. They didn't drop them off to like 20 minutes later or some shit like that. Mm, I don't know. Bro. But I, I don't think YMW Melly was in the car no more afterwards. So his homie mm. was just driving around with two dead bodies. Literally, they had died. So he, he, they had already died. So he in jail too, right? I think so. Okay. I don't know though. Yeah. I, he yeah, has I, to be honest. Yeah, he, he has right. to be. Yeah, there's no way. That's crazy. It's bro, like I never is... really tapped into that shit, but like, that's crazy. I'm really about to tap. That's really like what I'm about to do now. Oh, this whole God, situation man. is just fucking That's bad. wild, bro. Oh. What I really want to tap in on is yo fits, man. Damn, oh, no, this Mary is an embarrassing. Uh, I got on the man. We got on the RV fit, man. Oh, uh, RV yeah, fit. You could just fucking put it under hey, one umbrella. RV new fit. Shirt from the new collection and drop it next week. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Let's go. Shout out high rollers. Yeah, I, I'm like embarrassed to say it, but yeah, just start. Well, actually, no. Shout out to Glabo. You're not Person. embarrassed, man. Person Come on, Yuri. 
I don't remember who made these shorts, but I really fuck with these shorts. And oh, bro, you gotta shout them out. Uh, I don't remember the fucking what does it name. Say? Dude. It has the brand name. Can on you there. read that? Yeah, nothing personal. Oh, uh, you're trying to put yeah. your uh, stamp on someone else's design again. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, but some Nigel Houston's uh, uh, shoes that someone so said. What Houston? No socks. Nigel Houston's. Uh, um, yeah. I got on this BBE hat. Um, half evil T. Mayday shorts. Some S Nike SB dunks and uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm chilling, man. I'm with RV'd the, out with the BBs on yo with the BB H E A D. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, you feel me in the BB and on your and on your chest, man. You feel me right beside your heart. Come on, man. You, you feel me right much. beside your heart, man. Today I got my uh, uh my my off white Air Force ones, man. You feel me? I'm not gonna lie, you came drippy today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, R I P Virgil, uh, Lord rest his soul. You feel me? I got uh, some half evil socks. You feel me? Hear, hear that good little, yeah. <laughs> you know, some strong socks right there, man. And then I'm gonna keep oh, it real man. with you, man. Um, you know my girl, she uh, uh cleaned up my uh, my whole closet, right? Nice. So it's like hella clothes I ne- I haven't seen in like months, and like damn near, I haven't I haven't seen these shorts since like 2021. So you feel me? I was able to find these shorts. You know, I'm like they put fit together. You feel me? Pop, pop. Where were they? What kind of shorts are they? It was just in a, it was in the bag. You know oh. what I'm saying? Uh, these are undefeated shorts. Oh, nice! I got these from the uh, from the Phoenix location, man. Shout out to people over there. I think that might have been Scottsdale, if anything. And then I got a Pleasures team, man. Shout out to good people at Pleasures, Hell man. Yeah. And then I got the uh, Runs and Bake Ball around my neck, yes, sir, man. Yes, I sir. thought I lost my Runs chain for a second, bro. I Damn. was like. I started saying guessing about the people I have around me. Oh my god! I start wondering like, damn, who who would do that? Did though? you think I did it? No. Okay. Nah. <laughs> did you think I did it? Nah. Nah. No, I'm like, I it, think Gary did it. I thought <laughs> it was someone who came to my house, and I'm like, man, there's been around like 20 people who've been to this house so far. Like, who? Well, it's really been like 12. But like, who who out of those 12 do I not trust? Nah. I feel it's that. just so weird. Like, I don't know. Like, who? Would you I hate fucking... feeling that way because then it's like you start. Start you start saying, saying guessing someone's character, and then you realize, oh no, this wasn't just in my fucking in, in this one drawer. Yeah, and he's like, bro. Yeah, it doesn't even feel right to even like just feel. I don't know. It feels like I was just like. But do you just leave your lunch chain on the table and invite a couple homies over and all smoke and shit? Yeah, I do that too. <laughs> I leave my chains on the table too. Like my mom always come over. I, I feel like I'm at an age where like I'm not just gonna have like petty thieves around me. Well, I guess I that's do. How I, that's what I was gonna say. I, I sometimes do have petty thieves around me, but I give them the benefit of the doubt that they're not gonna rob from me or do anything weird like that. You feel me? I do have petty thieves, but I don't think they'll rob me. No, I don't, I, I'm never trying to have fucking. Anybody like that around me, really? You know, it's really just that, yeah. like bosses. You know what I mean? I feel like yes, that's sir. like I don't know, like a like a young dude's game. You know what I mean? Like maybe like eighteen and younger to do like that petty little like grab a little thing on your way out type yeah. shit, right? It's like I don't know who's an adult doing. And that? you can't be going to someone's house doing all that, bro. That that's shit ain't really, right. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? But uh, as an adult too, you'll get your. That's ass. what I'm saying. What's up, Christian? What's in the box? Oh shit, man. I'll take the whole box, Chris. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I say what's up real quick? Oh. What's up, Stream? Hold on, you got to talk to the mic. What's up, Stream? Let them know who you are and what you do. I'm Chris. I run operations here. Yeah. Uh, you know? Shout out my boy <laughs> Chris, know. man. Give some words of encouragement, bro. What's some words you live by? Those jeans uh, are hard, too. Thank you. Um, Words of encouragement, I'd Mike. say. Uh, just have fun, you know? That yes, is sir. so bad, Chris. We Come just on. be having fun. Yeah, we do. Having fun, working hard. Yes, yep. sir. Good words, good words. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, shout out to good people at Loose Leaf. You feel me? They just hooked us up with the free YSF. That was Damn. positive. Wow. We'd all get behind, but I'm for sure. This talking about it. Let me see that box, that free YSF one. Wait, be careful. There's a cash in there. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Oh, that, felt, that sounded heavy. This it's some cash cool. money. Woo! Whoa. All right, thank this you so is, much. This is crazy, bro. Proceeds go to the YSL Defense Fund. This is dope. Shout out to Loose Leaf. That's oh, wow. That's fuck, bro. That's fire. And they gave me the good pleasures. Rolling trees, man. Shout out to the good people at 8 9 LA, man. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. That bro. box is sick, too. It's like, just uh, a yeah, sick, like collector's or display item. I wonder if you just like kept those loose leaves just like that, like, sil- like wrapped the way it is. It's like wrapped like, I don't know, like a DVD would be wrapped or something like that. that plastic, plastic sealed. Plastic sealed. So... Does it make it vacuum sealed like in there? Like, is it like airproof? Basically, well, I think that the uh, the the uh, this packaging kind of does that uh, that airproof for the whole thing. I'm so, wondering, like, what if you just like left that for. 
10 years as a display item and then 10 years later you're like that shit gonna be crunchy. oh no all these you expire think so? all these expire for oh, sure, oh yeah, yeah that is yeah, organic that gonna thing. Be crunchy but I, I think fun. I think loose leaf got got the one of the best products out there and uh man like I I, I didn't know I, I was really craving some loose leaves the other day and uh, uh I, I go to 7-eleven I'm like man I should grab some backwoods and they had them there I'm like what yeah, that's pretty normal. Yeah. They yeah. have loose leaves at Seven Eleven. Oh, right? loose leaves. Yeah. Oh, no, I, no, they've been going crazy. I thought they said you got backwards. Because people just come in, <laughs> come inside Seven Eleven and shit all the time. And ask them like, you got loose leaves? Nope. All right. I'm and and Seven yeah. Elevens always used to sell swishers. They're yeah. obviously gonna sell the new popular thing yeah, that yeah, people yeah, use. Exactly. Also, too, and if I did smoke blunts, I probably would smoke loose leaves. Loose leaves. For sure. Yeah. If nah. I did smoke blunts, they're but. definitely that, that that middle ground. They're not too like musky. Yeah, as like uh, gra- I can't stand grava. You pass me a grava, bro. I might, I might, I might look at you. I funny. can't stand backwoods, bro. Backwoods just smell so gnarly, bro. I love like, a backwood, bro. That's nostalgic, no. you know. Or if I'm like in like southeast LA, man, man, where the Dutch is at? I'm, I'm finna roll Swisher. Fuck it. Or the, or the, or the Runs wraps. Yeah, the Runs wraps. Yeah, if I'm in downtown for sure. But uh, <laughs> you know, something about like a Dutch blunt, bro. That shit does. You get you get the most highest. Well, it, it takes a lot of weed to roll those. Yeah. It probably oh, takes don't. like spit yeah, my does. cereal out. Hell no, nah, bro. It's like, like three grams. I would say, bro. Spit my cereal out. It takes a gram. Like you're tripping. If you're, that's a skinny blunt, yeah. especially if you use it. I in know Dutch. you're not talking. Bro, yeah. that's a skinny blunt, bro. Blunts are different than spliffs. Spliffs, yeah, yeah. you can control how much tobacco is in it. A yeah. blunt, you're like overlapping hell of no, fucking. That's, that's when have you rolled like a three gram anything? Back in the day when I used to like, smoke blunts all the time, like it was like a th- I could not see Yuri rolling like a, a big ass wood or like. Oh my god! Well, no, I definitely am not like a, a rolling a big ass wood, but like that's like sessions between me and. Uh, you know, homies like you know, like like five, six people yeah. all thrown in weed, and we roll up a big ass wood or like. You know, I like. Damn, I, li- I miss Dutch. those days. I like Everybody rolling like. Up on weed. Nah, I don't miss those days at all, bro. We used to be <laughs> burnt out. I yeah, know, but everyone putting two dollars just for a gram of weed, and then we'd all just hit the blunt twice. And no, that's I was it. talking about everybody has like their own. They own weed and they just put like a little piece into the fucking pot because they want to go home. Oh and smoke hell no, nah, man! I'm rapper vibe smoking my own shit. Shit got like four or five grams. You feel me? Like, like yeah, you ain't fucking with yeah, me. Yeah, I mean on shit that, now. Man. Yeah, I'm at home facing splits, bro. I love it. Yeah, no. <laughs> if I really want to be be lazy in the morning, if I want to be the laziest bee mm. in the hive, <laughs> like I'll uh, uh, I'll definitely like pour. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll definitely smoke a crate like a fat ass blunt. Like, like, I'll smoke, like, a five-gram wood in the morning. Mm. That's out of pocket. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, before breakfast? I don't have breakfast. That is my breakfast. Bro, a five-gram wood in the morning sounds so, so dehydrating. So like gnarly. You got to drink, some like, water. I'll, yeah, I was going to say, like, maybe, I like, drink water, and then I'll have, like, two cups some, of water like, before it. the most hipsterist, like, high-water cold brew you could think of, like. A coffee? D- yeah, just like the the most like that uh, shit's expensive, bro. Cold yeah. brews is like eight dollars a yeah, bottle. Yeah, like, like like some like, super gnarly, like the dabs of like cold brew. I'll have that in the morning for coffee. Hmm. Like the, the most like hipster is like I cold brew, some, nitro cold brew you can <clears throat> find. Aren't you supposed to like eat before you drink coffee? That's like just on an empty stomach. Some fucking hyper coffee. Okay, they say you're supposed to fucking you know. Uh, do a lot of things. <laughs> I don't do none of that, bro, man. But like a five gram blunt in the morning sounds great. I smoke a spliff in the morning. I have to smoke weed. If in the I morning. smoke a spliff, bro, that'll throw me. I swear to God, I would never be able to uh, in this lifetime be able to smoke a spliff in the morning. That sounds insane. Why? Bro, literally, that what? sounds like nasty. Yeah, bro. Like, how and you're you, why ready to smoke a five gram? Why blunt? you want to yeah. start your day off like that, bro? That's bro. the best way to start your day. He's trying to start his day off like Rick Ross. <laughs> and he's fucking talking about. I it. know, nah, bro. You smoke a fat ass, and I'm not smoking the whole thing right there. And then I'm going through little breaks. You know, oh, I felt that. Yeah, I might pick it up, put it down, like until I get to the office at like ten. But like from like eight a.m. to ten a.m., I'll be like fucking up five grams, like pop, pop. You Damn, feel me? That sounds crazy, bro. Well, let, let's go ahead and get into the uh, the topics. Hold on. My boy may or may not be. Uh, uh, oh, he is returning to the. Ca- Hold on. We need. A- oh, no. He's back in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's back in the kitchen. Nah, uh, but I, w- I want my boy to, uh, uh, you know, explain his flit. I think everyone yeah. came through looking real spiffy, real yeah. spliffy, you know, real spliffy. Um, But I just want to. Uh, just want to see how y'all feel. So the uh, the sneaker topics to, today, how, how man. Long have we been on, how, how long have we been on live, bro? Two hours, I think. Two hours, Two hours yeah, man. We for sure gonna. All right, uh, chat. Reconnected, man. Episode. Oh, oh my god. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking, they man. They hate when I do that. 
For real? Just yeah. wrap it up? Yeah. Like, like, I hate when you do that. Hey, bro, the <laughs> chat's been going crazy for you. They want to know what you've been rocking, man. Like, the last rocking? couple of hours, yeah. you feel me? I'm going to go use the restroom, though. What I've been rocking? Like, what, what I'm wearing right now? Or yeah. what I've been rocking? We, we wearing right now. Okay, all right. Fucking, uh, man, I'm fucking here. Back at it again, man. Uh, leaking the new fucking skate shoe, man. The skate rollers. Damn. Uh, Shits are hard. Got the brown pair. I'm making one, one to two changes on this one, actually, before... I put this one out, but this is gonna be honestly one of the first ones. This is gonna drop the brown, brown colorway. I got a little surprise though that I gotta, you know, tweak on it, whatever. So this is just a sample of I uh, fucking got the honestly got the I got the hood like just swap me denim on right now. You feel me? Hood swap me denim. Really, those jeans are hard. Bro. I know, hard right? Fuck, right. And then. Uh, Man, we got the fucking the swap meets catching on. Yeah. Nah, look, catching nah, exactly. exactly. No, I'm, honestly, bro, like swap me been been, bro, like, cause you just gotta know what to get from there, and you mm -hmm. gotta know how to mix it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I should take a good swap meet trip. I, bro, been swap I meet went yet. I went yesterday. Which which one? Slauson. No, damn. Yeah. Nah, it was it was it was lit though. But look, so then, I would uh, never go in there. Look, man, the new collection, man. Uh, I think I'm gonna name it Hood Rollers. Hood Rollers is gonna be the 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 name for the new collection. It's us like a bunch of like hood staples, you know what I'm saying? Or like just familiar shit we see every day in the hood. You feel yeah. me? And I just flipped it and put a little high rollers spin on all of it. You feel me? But I'm a um I'm gonna keep revealing I'm gonna keep revealing the shit as we uh. No, like, I, I fuck with the shirt and I fuck with the back too. Pause. Yeah, bro. The fucking oh my god, dude. We we revisited this same graphic. On the back, yeah. So many times, man. That shit is hard it. though. Yeah, niggas. Bro, look, it's funny because uh, here is me and Ezo fucking shooting dice, shooting dice yeah. with each other on the back, bro. And, and Ezo's also wearing a high roller shirt and, that roller and, and and shoes. But um, yeah, man. Shout out to my nigga Leo, sure. bro. Me and Leo been fucking cooking up crazy for this collection, bro. I <clears> can't <throat> wait for y'all niggas to see this shit. I've been putting my fucking Dick and balls into it. <laughs> I've been putting my dick and balls into this shit, and I really want y'all niggas to fuck with it. Uh, I mean, if you don't fuck with it, you don't fuck with it. But I'm, I mean, I want y'all to, you know, really check yeah. it out because I'm really putting in crazy effort for this shit. I really want y'all to fucking fuck with the shit, man. I got some crazy shit coming for y'all, man. Hell yeah, bro. Fuck with that. Like I feel like uh, I feel like you know like. People, people fuck with what I've been doing or whatever, but I feel like I got so much other shit in the arsenal that I've been trying to just like pull the trigger on. You feel yeah. me? And that's that's like that's really the hardest part is just doing the shit. It's like, nigga, I got ideas for fucking years, nigga. I got I got yeah. ideas for fucking centuries, nigga. <laughs> but like, actually, like you know, what I'm saying, get don't fucking knock everything over again. I know, right? Bruh. that shit was so. Crazy. No, but I think that's the. That's the hardest part about doing anything, bro, is just getting up and actually doing the shit, bro. So if you having that problem, bro, try that shit out. Get it done, bro. Whatever it is, bro, you got to fucking at least try. Feel me? Not facts. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah, bro. But uh, <clears throat> let's get into Wait, the wait. Also, go to High Rollers Instagram real quick. Go drop a comment real quick. Go drop, drop a comment. Comment your size on this shirt. Tell me what size you wear, what size you finna order when they drop. Oh, I will be posting a new item either tomorrow Nah, fuck that. We need the first person to comment who's on the back of the shirt. Oh, I already told them. Yeah. Well, they still need to comment it. Yeah. The first person that comments who's on the back of the graphic gets a free t-shirt. Let's see who was listening. Mm. Who's really paying attention. Facts. I just told them too, right? When you I walk know, away. right? Literally. I like that. Every, like, they're like everyone. The Everybody fuck? also thinks that you designed this, by the way. Nah, my boy Leo did it. Yeah. Shout out to Leo. Me, Hey, listen, it was definely a a, 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 a half and half collab. What do you mean? Me and him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, I you know, I respect anyone who just make, does dope artwork. You know, I, I was telling them, too, that people were tagging on me, right? Yeah. And so I told them, people. I'm like, uh, uh, like, you know, right. they just think your shit's hard. You feel me? That's all it is. <laughs> you know, and Leo's a good person. You feel me? I fuck with my boy. Nah, that's a fact, man. Shout out to my nigga, bro. Okay. Right, let's, let's get, get into it, man. Just all right, man. So today, 
for episode 18, we got the Louis Vuitton Shark Claw colorways uh, releasing uh, very soon. This was part of the summer, the spring summer 2023 collection. Prices to be determined, man. They probably yeah. cost like sixteen hundred, man. But let's go ahead and check this shit out. You feel me? To be Run announced. the clips. Let's go ahead. Shout out Mac too, by the and way. Shout out to Mac, man. But, so did Yuri, he help y'all at all? Yuri was in, saying, uh, yeah, I was about to say, Yuri was saying, this is the second time we went to Vegas and we didn't even see Mac. Oh yeah, yeah that's crazy. I feel bad. I'm sorry, Mac. Why not? Bro, we just it was too much going on, bro. Yeah. Why don't y'all like to see Mac? I texted yeah, him. I texted him both Mac. times. Yeah, and we called never, him like three yeah. times too. L-stream. No, Mac uh, is definitely uh, the type of nigga that will not answer when once you're there. Bro, he would have helped y'all out with the water situation. Mm. Except they, they say Yuri all over him. Yuri? What the fuck? No, they don't. No? It's like some high fashion action. Yeah, this is high fashion high for fashion, sure. Like this is like y'all. niggas that take showers are wearing this. Somebody <laughs> said you didn't take a shower for the whole five days. Uh, uh, no, it's not true. Uh, <clears throat> I uh, showered the first night so we were there. Yeah, they, this nigga, look, this nigga took a one minute shower. They no, said, uh, they said they, they said this nigga took a bird bath. No, nah, nah, nah. no, nah, hell no. Nah. I fucking washed the myself decently. Bird bath. Nah. <laughs> I washed myself pretty well. Hey, these shoes are cold. You think so? Damn, they look it's interesting for sure. They look like rock. futuristic. It comes with shit. a sock. Yeah, no, I think that's like the part of the shoe. Comes with an ankle sock. <laughs> it's like I'm sewn not, into it. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa, those look weird. I can see Blasi with some leather like pants wearing these. Socks. Bro, I retired We're all leather black. pants. Man, I get to the community. You feel me? This public domain. I don't be doing that shit. I was gonna say, where's the all black pair? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, all black pair is not that bad, but still, like, you know I'm the laziest here. bee grabbing those. For the sure. laziest bee. I wonder how like fucking oh. wide and like puffy they are. To be honest, like, if they're really not that like you no know, huge of a shoe, like uh, you know, I, I feel like they'll be pretty sick. I don't know if I could think of some shit like this, bro. That's why I love it. Ooh. Nah, those are kind of hard. Ooh. They're giving, like, <laughs> I don't know what vibes they're giving, but. Home giving, Depot? Hell nah, bro. <laughs> they're giving, like. <laughs> they're, giving me, uh, uh, they're giving me little crank em vibes. You feel me? Bro, little geeky. This is, like. Nah, I feel you. Nah, this is, this like. This is geeky right is, here. This is, like, Atlanta fucking scammer. Sneak em, uh, geek yeah. em. Drip. This is Sneak em, geek em. Atlanta scammer drip for sure, bro. Nah, this is, this like. This is, like, downtown Atlanta. Nah, this is downtown annoying thought in Atlanta. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, are these nah. a different kind? Like a low top pair? You know, little baby rock. Nah, yeah, it doesn't hard. have the sewn in sock thing. I ain't gonna hold you. These is cold. Yeah, I those are. Like, if you on a, if you I'm on starting a, to like them more and more. If you on like a, if you on like a yacht in Nils in Miami, it's kind of a vibe. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie about that heavy one for chat. A lot, bro. Nigga, are these Louis Vuitton shoes? Yeah, yeah bro. You I thought see this whole time it didn't, say, it didn't say Louis Vuitton. We no, it did on the side. Dick and Jane yeah, Sporting Goods? That's what I was like. What the fuck is this? Dick no, yeah, Jane. they're Louis Vuitton. No, I knew they was LV by the fucking little, the little monogram shit on the ankle. Wait. <laughs> no, those are fire. What? I didn't even know, know that this whole time that they were Louis Vuitton. Girl, yeah, oh. that swamp water, man. Made in Italy. Crazy, crazy. That shit cold right there. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go to yeah, the next Yeah, look at that. Bow. Those was cold, though. I'm not going to hold you. All right, so um, me so knowing that that, that they're in Louis Vuitton made them better for some reason, uh, which is which I know that it sucks, but I was just being honest. That's deep right there, bro. We got the Travis Scott Nike Mac attacks, man. Oh, Mac had to throw these in there. Yeah, oh, of course. Oh God, bro, what's wrong with you? Or the Blasi attacks, nigga. These just don't come out till holiday twenty twenty three. Oh, bro, just that nigga for sure wanted, wanted to. Survive. I know. <laughs> he googled Mac coming soon. Mac, you're fucking jokes. That nigga said nah. Ooh. He said, nah, 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 nah. Y'all about to talk about these. He's like, y'all niggas is talking about me this episode. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's run it up, man. Let's, let's run it up for my boy. What if these Mac are just right a custom here. that he just made? That would be crazy. Oh, God. Some AI. The Mac attacks. attacks. <laughs> the, the AI Travis Scott? Yeah. Okay, okay. What are we looking at, the man? Mac. Oh, you know what? They probably are like the Shacks, but they're the, the Mac attacks. Uh, you're almost there. Uh, you're there now, yeah. <laughs> you almost there. No, because she can. I know Ooh. if you're sitting back there, it's super hard to see the mouse sometimes. What's up with this? What's up? What Mac attack about these shoes? Hey, I what, don't we don't even see no shoes yet. Oh mm, nah. man, you can have them. Yeah, nah. you can for sure have them. You can them, have them. Them you, you them you. They're me. You want your? No, I'm talking about like them, like oh. them you Mac. Yeah, no nah, Mac. That's all you right yeah, there. Yeah, literally, bro. literally. Nah. That's you, all you, big bro. Nah, it's just like I get it. Like we get the point already. Nah, Yuri me. was smashing these like skating and shit like that. Like, uh, they kind of look like too too coney and pointy. I would say they look like cool skate shoes. 
Like, it uh, looks like the shoes you got on right now. A little bit, I guess, but like I don't know. I don't nah, really fuck them with them. Look, they they look like two fucking. They gonna flat rip shit. like a motherfucker. The back is flip. really <clears throat> bad, man. Like that 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 top part, that top left little area, yeah, right there. Like that shit ain't it. Yeah. Ain't like no the pa- the paneling on the back is all right, I guess, but like, I don't know. It's yeah. just some old ass like Nike. Like the, this is what they're doing. They're fucking trying to like make Travis Scott revive all these old fucking. You know, yeah. What's up with failed, a, failed attempts? What's yeah. up with the salt and pepper ass background they use? Like, uh, I know, right? Yo, it. I ain't gonna lie, chat, bro. I'm just thinking, like, the, like if you were to take yeah, that Nike s- symbol <laughs> off, <laughs> that shoe would look hella ugly. That shit exactly. Or if the Nike sign was a f- like the correct way, <laughs> nah, <laughs> that shit would look worse. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Nah, it, it would look worse. Yeah, I'm just saying if the Nike sign was the correct way, it would be like nobody would even look at that. They just they just using this nigga. They just using this nigga to try to sell whatever. I ain't gonna lie, chat. At this point, they just like, let's just see what the fuck we can make niggas buy if we put Travis Scott's name on it. Yo, God. They gonna, and he's gonna sell out too. Yeah, that's the yeah, fucked up man. part. All right, let's go oh, to the Oh, you know they're gonna sell out. Yeah, off top. All right, let's go ahead and check out uh, this next pair right here, guys. We got the uh, the Air Jordan Satan Air- Bread. Satin. Satin. Air Jordan 1 Satin Bread. Rumored for October the 18th, October 2023, man. This the nigga, price is 100. This nigga is giving us some fucking end of the year shoes. Oh, God, man. He's allowing yeah. y'all to save Nigga, up. I know something's coming out next Get week. Shit right, you know. I know it got to be something coming out next week, bro. Let's it got to be something, like, man. You know? Like, at least one. Bro. I ain't going to lie. And to be honest, man. like, this is this is an easy, like, people are going to buy this. Satin bread, yeah. People are no. gonna buy them. Yeah, this people is, are gonna buy them though. This has a. It's like the, what's that one store? Chic. This has chic written all over it. And is it me that nah, I, not, I don't like the? I'm the why only person I don't like the fucking big holes on the side of the laces. Like you know, like the lace hole. I hate when they like super big like that. You think that's like arguably like big? That. I think those look exactly like <laughs> the, the the regular. <laughs> no, but like I don't think they're, that they're out the ordinary. They're like I'm saying. You know, like, uh, like the lace thing is like usually like we small, know. like this, like little hole <laughs> we know. kind of thing. This yeah. is gonna turn like, into the DC like, conversation. No, 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 oh, no, 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 not like that. No, I'm just saying, like, I, I just don't like it when it's like that. They kind of look like Team Jordans. Okay, I, no, I feel you. I, I heard you on that one. They have this um, like weird velvety yeah, so look. look like well, it's satin. Yeah. So it's like, uh, all right. So this, I think it's this like is like silk. Think about this silk. is like what? How many? How many other satins have they? They they did the shatter backboards. They did. <laughs> I would like to see like the uh, the fours get get uh, satin. The satin fours would be actually kind of hard. That might be like a little. I don't know. Those pony hair fours are crazy. Oh, uh, what they have some? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie about that one, chat. Or pony, maybe they're pony hair ones. I think I'm tripping. Yeah, I think it's ones. They're not fours. You're nah, right. yeah. you you're lied right, about that right. one. You're right. You're right. Um, but uh, hey, look, but uh, I can admit when I'm wrong. Also. I don't know if I admitted this already, but I I felt so dumb when I went home and everybody was telling me how stupid I was because I was like, oh, the Doran Becker shit was an artist. But, but technically, I wasn't wrong. I just didn't know that it was a it was the fucking kids' hospital and all that shit. Uh-huh. It, it the kid was an artist uh-huh. because they got their own shoes. So nigga, yeah. technically, I wasn't wrong. But he in the right. context, yeah, yeah, yeah. he didn't lie. <laughs> hey, chat, he didn't lie about that one. Man. I did not lie about that one. But but shout out to okay, Tyrell for having those shoes. Holy shit. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna lie to you though. Like. The Saturn, the satin uh, shatter backboards, the orange ones, them shits are crazy. These are just like, I feel, I feel about these the same way I feel about the fucking the patent leather breads. Like they just like, they just, I don't know. Like they going for easy layups right now. Like you feel me? Yeah, yeah. I hear that bitch in a layup. <laughs> Which is nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with going for the layup, but also like. I don't know, man. Yeah. I mean, how many niggas fucking gonna, niggas finna eat them up though? You think so? Hell pause. yeah! I think that pause. They might pause, and yeah, and pause, they might man. be women sizing too. 
That's what it really. That's gave really me. some like female like Glorilla is eating the fuck out. Of oh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, cool, so really. the clothing, <laughs> cool. clothing news, man. We got online ceramics, <laughs> Love online face ceramics. collab. Bro, Whoa, that's whoa. crazy, right? Really excited whoa, to see about that this is like right their there. second time they. Uh, really? Oh, really? really? Yeah. I didn't know. Uh, I got right. See. You're tapped in. <laughs> with he loves ceramics. North Face, bro. He's no, tapped. I in. love on- online ceramics too. That's my nigga. Shout out to good people online ceramics, man. That's far. I rock with y'all. Y'all my favorite brand. We should fucking like. Well, they hit. They follow me. I didn't. I'm, I'm a little shy. I go I'm what a little fuck? shy. You're I go so lie good. about that one. So it's, it's like shot. the whole fit here. I don't know. It's stupid. Too far yeah, away. Yeah, probably to the see. whole. Fit. I know, right? That's what I was thinking. Just like three uh, um, wide angle lens. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Not the best. Uh, for a photo shoot, you right? Man, nah. Those those pants are him. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, them pants are him. Him at the right there for sure. Shit, honestly, like the if shoes, I, you know, I gotta, I, the short. I kind of like the shorts. I'm like. I have to I have to see the shit individually oh, as God. we go through. Like, it's, too, it's too much going on. Oh, yeah. fresh to death. You feel me? Um, I like her shirt. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Whoever set this shoot up is stupid. Lay down and watch she stands it. This is like, come on, bro. No, I like that that windbreaker. Nah. That shit no, cold. this windbreaker is dope. But I'm saying this like shot chat. is crazy, bro. That shit cold chat. Nah, I like the pants, the hats. Kind of like the random ass shoot. You know, we yeah. You feel me? Yeah, those those um, pants that one. Nah, I get nah. That's that ain't it right there. Like, I ain't gonna lie. This nah, the the zip up. Nah, shoot I like I like zip ups hard. like that the to be honest, hard. especially with the patches. What's up with these? Uh, what are they call biker shorts? Yeah. yeah, for the bitches, bro. I want to. I need to make some shit like that. No, I'm definitely yeah, gonna get some stuff for the ladies. This, Wait, so you don't? Summer, so you don't like that, Blasey? You think they're corny or something? Uh, I just think that uh, um, you know, for these biker shirts, you kind of need like uh, you know, some female uh, input on them. But I also and think this product shock is crazy. Like, you know, on, bro. On, on the I can't design see, aspect, I can't see any girl wearing those. You know, you don't think so? Uh, my nah, type of bitch, girl, my girl, girl random, show. bro. Are you like are you random? Like what? No, nah, like this is like sneakerhead bitch shit. Like this is like nah, a, like a bitch is wearing these. But to, that's like, like that's like, like niche niche time. girl market, man, baby. But on, that's what their their whole brand is kind of. Man, neat. put oh, on yeah, that, yeah. put on that pretty little or things niche. and call it Sorry. a day. You feel me? <laughs> Nah, like a bitch is gonna put, ma- match these with like some Stussy fucking sneakerhead girls can be mat- annoying though. Yeah, but listen, like, I, why you care that much? Li- but listen, I'm saying some bitch is gonna match these with like some fucking Stussy Air Maxes or something. You already know, bro. You know yeah. this is definitely a fucking like Fairfax La Brea type bitch. I can see that. Are you joking? She need to turn that in, <laughs> get some of the cash, and then go get get something from a uh, Etsy uh, Alley. From a IMG, a I wonder how long like inner thigh print would last. These are that's hard, bro. I like that. It depends on what kind of mat- uh, like how it's printed on there. Even yeah. Do you think it's kind of corny to put www.yourwebsite.com? Nah, that's shit cool, nah. man. I'm you think so? Bro, that's like so. This is hard. Soldier Boy used to put his Twitter on like all his mixtape covers for like ten, like yeah, like fucking like five years or something crazy shit it. like that. Yeah, and now look at his Twitter. It's just going up. Well, I mean, it's been going up, but like that's what I'm saying. That's why it was really going. Yeah, up. I ain't gonna lie about that one, bro. He used to, nigga. He used to intro songs like Twitter.com slash Soldier Boy. That's fast. Like, pass me a lighter. Man, I'm gonna start a fire. <laughs> pass me, <And> that, <laughs> bro. Who was shouting out their Twitter? You know what? I learned random info like this by watching random YouTube videos because I did not know that until I watched a video of somebody talking about how Soulja Boy used Twitter as marketing better than any rapper. He for sure did. That's crazy. Showed that's it. like a random ass YouTube video that I watched. I'm like, crazy. He's for sure talked about it too. Though. You feel me? No, that's, <laughs> that's I'm crazy. Saying. I'm fucking with this though. I'm yeah, not gonna man. lie. No, this one's fire. Right I don't know those I like this print on the front. Bro, why you hate? They they wasn't for you, Blasi. When we put water on plants, they grow a little. What you finna say? I kind of like the like Simple. random sayings that they, nah, that they have like, on their you show. Feel me? You gotta, you gotta get some info out there. It's like know. something Blasi would say in the middle like, of our podcast. I like, I like the, the North. <laughs> no, forest bro, hugger. That shit is hard, bro. Forest online, hugger. Online ceramics is literally. Chicken with the Sprite, Coke with the beef, just into a damn. I contextualized into a brand. I re rocked them. No, I'm just saying, like, it's like it's, it's that the same, same energy. Yeah. It's in the same family. Force yeah, is good. That same genre. Nah, facts. You know? Yeah, man. Damn, nah. this shit. They, they just made hella pieces for this, huh? It's a field trip shirt. Yeah, I ain't fucking with this. Like nigga said on. a field trip shirt. <laughs> I like this. Ooh, green star name. person. I like that. You know? I'm a motherfucking star person. 
I'm a fucking star boy. Uh, 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 I'm a motherfucking uh, Los Angeles. Uh, uh, Los Angeles. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say that like five times. <laughs> Look who you are. I'm a motherfucking star boy. <laughs> what? Uh, 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 you want to know something funny? So we pull up, we pull up on the art to this like, to this like, this like, uh, this like uh, stop and ride. What is, is it called? Ride shroom? share or some shit? This is some shrooms ass shit. But look, we, I like that. Look, man. we pull up to this ride share, like to smoke a spliff, right? With, on the side of like the road with the, R, with the RV. And then it's this dude just partying in his car, right? Mm-hmm. So Yuri goes to talk to him. He's like, hey, man, what's up? Where are you from? He's like, Los Angeles. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> no, he did he? Yeah. Los Angeles. <laughs> He was like, say, Oh, you're about to it. say it. I was about to, but you're about to say it too. He said, he said not to say it no more. He did say it, I guess. He said, like, but, but you know what was really funny is we were smoking a spliff, right? And uh, he was actually like standing. He had a van, like a bumping music, like, you know, like a white minivan without windows in the back, right? Ooh, and he's like standing. Flag. He's standing outside the passenger window, fucking blasting like EDM or some shit like that. And he's just like standing like nearby, like bumping his head and shit. Take See care, you, Chris. Bro. Have a good night. All right, bro. Hey, have a good and night. um, slam that. And then Tok was like, "Yo, you should go try to talk to him." And I was just like, "Fuck it, all right, let me go talk, uh, talk to him." I was like, "Yo, what's up? How's it going?" He was super nice. He's like, uh, "I'm." Uh, you know, from out of the country, I live here in LA now. Or and he's like, I'm just uh, traveling on business. And then, um, and then he's like, I, uh, I'm also a police, like in, uh, in um, Czech Republic. And then he like takes out his fucking wallet and shows his like sheriff's badge and his ID and shit. And I covered the camera at that point, but like I was like, and I was holding a spliff and I was talking to him. I was like, damn, it's kind of funny. I'm talking to a fucking cop from Czech Republic. They probably don't fuck with weed at all yeah, out there. No, not at all. <laughs> You're up that. Like, they're probably hanging. Thing. But this dude's on a sick one, though. He's just dancing in the fucking dirt. Like, we're in a dirt road kind of shit. He's just dancing oh, in the dirt. Just by himself, by the car, like, hitting, like, one hitters of tobacco, it looks like. I don't know what the fuck I he's doing. I think he was hitting one hitter. Right. That's and, that's 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 right. and then he just... He that's, just that, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> For real, bro. What are you, like, fools going wild Yo, today? You know what's crazy? I was listening to a old fucking RXK nephew song from like 2021 where he was doing a whistle like that. And that bro, that's song. like 15 years right. old. I mean, I'm just saying I never heard nobody rap doing that Come on, like bro, that. You ever heard my music? Bro, this nigga's dumb. Nah, but like, I was like, damn, did this fucking t- Skante tw- Tweaker Warrior hear this RXK nephew song? No. And then, bro. I'm gonna send it to you. It's bro, please I'll do. I'll send you I'm a video super. saying, <laughs> <laughs> "Bro, there's a guy in East LA. Look, someone in the chat's gonna know this fool. He used to sell churros, <laughs> and he used to be like, <laughs> Dango churros." I'm talking about in a song. I never heard anybody they, rap this, bro. That that's damn near a song, bro. Hey, no, but I was oh, gonna they, say, look, you know what I'm saying? They got the good you know, crop, the good crop top. But no, like, I was saying to in the story that that dude pulls off. He just gets in the car in the van and he skirts off to the freeway like zero to eighty in a van, bro. And he's just driving mad erratically. I'm like, bro, this is crazy as fuck. What the fuck we just me. witnessed? That's that's really me. I'm fucking in a white me. minivan. That's me for real. With no windows in the back. Just jamming. That's literally me. You just pulling up to rest stops, blasting EDM music. Everyone's just that trying sounds, to enjoy the bathroom real crazy. quick. That's me for real. <laughs> That's me for Is real. For real. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Not about that one. I didn't shit. like the way you said that. I had a little sauce on it. You know. Yeah, you copping the crop for... top last? Hey man, bro, <laughs> man, <laughs> say. Hey, hey, it's summertime, man. I'm fucking right, with I the crop. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm I know. here to water your plants. Hell no, nah. say the. F- I'm here away to from water my plants, man. Your plants, they're well mm-hmm. hydrated. Bro, this is really like, what? Man, we see this. That. Is this cool. Yeah, this is cool. Nah, but this, wait, but, why do I feel like I've seen you with that exact hoodie? Oh, because man. I have, I fucking have a crazy online ceramics man. motherfucking. Uh, What's the word? Uh, like God collection, but like forest hugger. I need, I need, I need deeper than collection. What uh, word am I looking <clears> for? I don't know. No, nah, like but archive. I got archive. a whole archive of just online ceramics. On God this hoodie, heaven, this hoodie's hard. I did forest that. Hugger on I did sleeves. that cloud smiley flip for Chinatown Market some years back. You feel me? I don't know how I feel about that music. I'm not gonna lie, but your your cloud game is pretty pretty smooth, my boy. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Walking this bitch <laughs> so get critical. <laughs> 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 bro, RXK is so funny. Bro, <laughs> that nigga said, Auntie said, mm hmm. Auntie said, Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie waiting on her stimulus check. Auntie said, I need crack again. 
That nigga be, bro, he be just tarnishing his auntie's name. <laughs> God, <laughs> for like hours and hours, bro. bro I was you think it's true? Like, like, she's just some crazy fucked up, demented woman? I want to meet her, though, dude. <laughs> like, fuck. This is my... It's... Bro, I'm not going to lie. He is fucking jokes. Yeah. Bro, there's so many songs of him dissing Pap, too, when they was beefing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> bro. He just randomly say something, like, random about, like, bro, yeah. he is fucking... <laughs> He, he, bro, one? he was just yeah. Check out the next one. Crazy. No, I said he was just he just, like what, most of his best songs. These shorts guys, are fire. I'm fucking with the purple bro, booty shorts. This is the shorts. biggest collection <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I know how many things are we going through here? <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah. Honestly, you as a as a brand, you get six slides, my boy. After that, oh god, let's go to the next one. Yeah, as Mac, good. as right. Mac. What the? Oh man, these the it's a booty shorts. Yeah, yeah, those are the girl shorts, you know, right? Booty and then yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Could admit some if you wanted man. to. I swear, <laughs> bro. He swears, bro. Couldn't fit some if you wanted like to, bro. How was your? How's your female? This like, bag is as far. Is, as, is that like, a cooler? I hope that's a cooler. That shit is hard. fucking hard, bro. bro. Stop playing with fucking. That shit is slams, fucking bro. hard. Now my my, I got female audience. You feel me? We call them the uh, nothing personal girls. You know, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you just came up nothing with that personal. right now, <laughs> man. <that's laughs> We call them the nothing personal female supporters. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Nah, but like the thing is like, <laughs> you're nah, gross. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have hella a uh, female product. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I hire my girls like a, a creative director as my, for my brand. You That's know, how you like, fucking get to it, bro. bro this is probably like the most spent, expensive camping. The girls that already trip. buy your shit is gonna hella appreciate that. Just know, I, all the girls that buy my shit have boyfriends. I love that. The boyfriends be the niggas. That, honestly, shout out to all the boyfriends out there. Yeah. Because the boyfriends be putting the, the girls on to this shit. Nah, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I need this hat. I think really? everybody who buys something personal <laughs> we still got going through this shit. This is Bro. crazy. All right, hey, online shirt mixer. <laughs> what is, hey, what is that? What is, what is that shit? What is that shit? Uh, this hat is like from uh, yeah, Brickleberry. <laughs> oh no, for real. <laughs> no, we're we're done giving free jokes. Thank God. Let's move on to the next topic God, here. Leave, All I ate today was a Starbucks sandwich. Bro, I and swear I'm to God, me too. Which one? Uh, what was Turkey it? The um, double ham something? Bro, the ham. I got what is this? The ham and water. cheese with the mustard is oh, so I got the sausage good. and egg. Bro, listen. Oh, all right. Listen. Okay, listen. If you if you fucking with Starbucks food in the morning. I didn't you realize gotta, they didn't close it all the way. If you fucking with Starbucks food in it the morning. Yeah. We're going to have you good now? Are you five alive? combos on the side or what? Oh, listen, sorry. If you fucking with Starbucks in the morning. You will get the impossible boy. breakfast sandwich. Stop. Impossible? And if you, is that secret menu shit? No, it's boy. Just, bye. You think a vegan? No, listen. I'm telling. Oh, you, impossible! All, Fuck no. No, I'm telling you, it's fucking. You won't. It's Hell gas. nah, bro. It's left, what, bro. Went right. left, then, with us. Okay, look, look. And then if you fucking with the, with the lunch, you gotta get that. The hams, the ham and Ooh, cheese no. with the mu It's like the spicy. The mustard. double smoked bacon thing. That's yeah. what I got. Nah, you gotta. Oh, get that's the. the oh, with like, the on like and, on a ciabatta bread or some shit. I don't know what bread it's on. The ham and cheese, and it got it got like the spicy mustard on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got some sweet ass Starbucks. I never heard of none of shit like that, bro. They just got coffee beans where I'm at. You just say you spend you but you buy like ten dollar cold brews every morning. You said. Nah, but I'm not in like in life Shut for the ciabatta up, with the honey bro, mustard. Yeah, you're at some like fucking like bougie ass that. hipster yeah, little coffee you, you acting, coffee shop. You acting like fucking uh, that spot don't got fucking like ten dollar fucking bagels and fucking guess, 15 dollar fucking blueberry I guess not all muffins. All of us grew up the same, man. I don't know. Uh, you're literally better living we, all we, day. That's better than star. That's more expensive. Than do we want to talk about the next one or we want to skip to the next one? Get to my loo. Uh, Bro, why did we not add the photo of the the Supreme Vans? Did we already talk about those? Which one? Um, the, the Bro, that's Imran. Yeah, the the no, no, not with the lightning bolt. I think uh, Stay Grounded posted them. Supreme Vans. Cool. Yeah, that's the cool, Supreme bro. Vans that came out. They looked hell. It's be hard I to find because if you type in Supreme Vans. What? Oh, the do yeah, the not dollar sign ones was yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, those were last week. We already talked about. I'm those. not sure if they're the dollar signs. Yeah, uh, they are. They are. That was, okay. Those are the most recent ones. Yeah. Yeah. You already take your pills. <laughs> no, not those. Oh my god, no, no. I, I, bro. It's those ones right there. Those ones right there to the. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's these ones right there. Nah, we see. No, nah, it's none of those. Bro, we, yes, bro, it was. Yes, it was. Yeah, you can't see them those aren't the ones oh, I'm here. talking about. Yeah. If, 
Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Oh, there we go. Those ones, yeah, those no, are. those aren't the ones I'm talking uh, about. Uh, which the, I'm telling you, go to Stay Grounded. Going crazy. And you'll what's, see them. What's Stay Grounded on Instagram? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know. <laughs> I was gonna grounded. say you for sure know who they are. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. My bad. My bad, Joe. Yeah, Riley's gonna start. My bad, Joe. I'm a little. I'm a little out of it, man. But like during when, when we were on the RV, like for a second, I went on Instagram, like scrolled through, and I saw. I think it was Stay Grounded. They posted them. I was like, oh shit, these are pretty far. Walking this bitch get critical. All right, Ooh. so while yeah. we're waiting for that, we could talk about one of these other. All right, so uh, Dior collabs with Visla for a wetsuit and collabs with what no the fuck Tox. is Vista? Visla is a wetsuit brand. I actually, of have course. One. Oh, this is fucking right up my boy's alley. I know. Okay, That's okay but how do you how do you Item feel? Of the week. How do you feel about fucking high fashion trying to appropriate your fucking culture? <laughs> True, good I, question, bro. I real talk. I think it's kind of cool, but it's super kooky because. Like no one's gonna ever buy that shit, and if you do show up to a beach with that shit, somebody niggas is gonna be looking at you crazy. You better be doing backflips in this motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. You better not fuck up on the wave because niggas are gonna point and laugh at you. But are you really like surfing at the beach hold. and like these, these are hard. these are fucking Bro, hard? That's what I'm yeah, saying, these dude. These are gas. These are super He's sick. On that one. Bro, first Damn, look at the Supreme Yuri. Van Speed yeah. shoes dropping Bro, Thursday, Yuri. June fifteenth well at eight a.m. We might as well just add another fucking job on the Yuri's fucking. <laughs> yeah, I like I like I like the top comment. Ugly ass fire ass shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think these are fire. These are these hard are as fire. fuck. These are these are, don't these See, remind like, you like okay, the old uh, airwalkish kind of. Yeah, they kind of do like. I will say yeah. though, like just for future reference, Mac, if. Some shit like this is out. Just if you don't personally like it, I feel you. But like, just throw it in here anyway, so we could like review it. Look, you, you know can see I liked it. <laughs> yeah, those, those shits are hard. How come you didn't submit? Because these, the yeah, these, these are hard. Yeah, these are hard. You don't even look at the group chat. Yeah, shut your ass up. No, but when I have topics, I always just send them to Mac. Don't gaslight me. In this. <laughs> oh my, you're but, like, you're a gaslighter actually. I'm not. Yeah, you're that, doing it right now. Was, yeah, you're you're in, <laughs> you're mid gaslight right now. Mid gaslighting, like yeah. I should but yeah. no, you were in the middle of gaslighting. But to, to go back well. to to go back to this wetsuit thing, um, I feel like I, I feel like it is dope that you know bigger brands want to like put money invest into the sport. But I also it just if you're gonna do it, don't make it as flashy. Nigga, what? Don't make it. As, oh, I I just read how much it was. Yeah, bro, well. it's fucking expensive. The wetsuit like, is three thousand three hundred dollars, and the board is ten. How much? How is much a is a regular board? Not, so, not a normal like wetsuit and board, but what's a professional setup? If you're yeah. a good dude, if you, like if you want like a really, nice if, wetsuit. If you yeah. want, all right, so if, it, if you want a nice wetsuit yeah. that you that you really surf in, it's gonna be like four hundred to like six hundred dollars, right? If you and this thing's this, three thousand three hundred, yeah. and then if you want a nice ass board. That you can really like, you know, shred. That's gonna cost you like another eight hundred to maybe a thousand dollars, depending on what kind of fence. You that, this thing's like? ten thousand, bro. Yeah, bro, ten racks. See, no, like, no, this is three racks. You know, for the, little for the baby suit. going to the club in that shit, bro. bro he gonna look, <laughs> bro. He look stupid. Oh Yeasty. my Rilo god, Rilo Rodriguez in the club with the Dior wetsuit, wet bro. <laughs> bro. No, but that and, ass, if anybody and, can get bro, the answer one of these, want to send it to me, please. No, no, no. With the Instagram caption about like had to cop the wetsuit because I'm I'm too drippy. Like, <laughs> yeah. you think Gunna, Gunna's gonna post the wetsuit photo? Bro. Soon? They're gonna have it halfway hanging down. Too. Halfway hanging down. In Bruh, the club. that's gonna look wetsuit. Wet no, but no, no, but then, but then that would defeat the purpose because the Dior's on the chest. Oh so no, it says on. I think down. it says on the leg too. Oh. I didn't see. Yeah, I bro. think I think so. Remember, that's the crazy. Like you see, this is what I'm saying. Like if they're gonna make a Dior suit like that's this, whack. make it less flashy. Make it all black. Let it say Dior a little, because that's how how yeah. surf suits work. I mean, how wetsuits work. They really say they have really small logos. It's yeah. not that big. And and if it did, nobody would even bat an eye. They'd be like, oh, this is kind of cool. Might be a little yeah. more expensive, but it's cool. This is too flashy. They, they For that, like I think they should sure really three bands. Yeah. They really. Wait, how much is a okay? How much is a a nice uh, actual board. That's what I was trying to. Yeah. Ask. Oh, I said like uh, like eight hundred to a thousand, depending on what kind of fins you get. Those are ten k, ten times the price. They really yeah. kept it. I think they should have went the conservative route on the design wave and just done like a pattern. In a front, and you know, like the Dior want? pattern that would have served its purpose. Nah, and that still would like that. Like to be honest, like a black Dior pattern where it was just not that noticeable. Yeah. I, I, even if you got some like crazy carbon fiber board, yeah. it would still be like a thousand I actually, max. I actually have one. Shout out to Dark Arts, bro. They send me they send me a free one. Thank you so much, guys, over there. But 
No, I actually have a Visla wetsuit. I fuck with Visla, and it's from a company that I came from the bottom up, nigga, they on, bro, they literally on some like that's kind of basically hard. like some nothing personal shit. They came from the bottom up, bro. That's for crazy. them to do a Dior collab, uh, is this your homie? No, I don't know who the fuck. Yeah, how did they? <laughs> but for them to do a Dior collab, nigga, that shit, my hats off to them. That's just do dope. You, do you think like the type of nigga that would buy a fucking Dior wetsuit or Dior fucking whatever collab? Do you think that this is the type of nigga that's gonna be an actually good skater? I mean, good surfer. And do you think that they wouldn't just like post it up in the crib and not actually surf it? Yeah. Uh, no, anybody that, any real surfer, like any like that's person that's really surfing, especially that they're gonna have sponsors and shit already, they're not gonna be anywhere near this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think, but okay, I understand. They're laughing the, at it. I understand the potential of displaying a fucking 10K surfboard. That's yeah. cool, right? In the, like, like in the crib on some Exactly. Yeah. Like, oh, like a nice, sur- like, oh yeah, it's 10K Dior, right? Yeah. But who's displaying a wetsuit? Nobody. That's kind of lame. Yeah, this is stupid, too. So I feel like no one's really nah, going to buy no that. No one's going to buy that shit. And plus, once you get in the water with that wetsuit, once that shit hits the ocean, it's over with. That wetsuit's forever going to be like, it's. It's a wet, it's a regular wetsuit now. It's back, it's <laughs> back, and it's salty. back to the regular wetsuit yeah. maintaining function. And then, if, especially if it starts ripping and how do you maintain shit, a wetsuit? You just like you wash it off with fresh water every day, type shit. Uh, hang it out. Uh, to, oh, so it doesn't like let erode it, by yeah. the salt water. No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That way, it'll, it'll like rip apart and shit. But you got to wash it off with fresh water, <laughs> and then you let it dry in the shade. In the shade, okay. yeah, 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 and don't Man. hang it up. The sun's gonna fuck it up. Yeah, yeah, don't hang it up by a, don't hang it up by a hanger. I don't like uh, all what? those like things That's to do. Too many fucking rules. These are all the rules like, here. I can't hang like, it up with a hanger. You gotta like lay it over something, bro. Like, all a you balcony got... or some shit. You look, mm. you want so it, it 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 all dries like the water just seeps. Bro, through. So if you hang it on a hanger, then the, the shoulders are gonna go like. What happened to like traditional sports? Like all for me to skate was just to like kick my board onto my front lawn. Bro, surfing is a traditional sport, bro. Nah, but like, but old. Read this text the last. No, read it in the group chat. Oh no, I did, I did. Oh, I, right. I spent my cereal. <laughs> bro, you have no cereal left, bro. I know. Fucking with y'all, wow. bro. No, <laughs> all yeah. milk. Wow, that's gonna be fire. Yeah, nah, we we doing that. Let's run that. Yeah, about a bag ain't gotta ask me. No cap. Bro. Hey, uh, W Josh too. The man. the fucking. Yeah, w- uh, hey, but I really want to say though, this board probably in like a five. Five eight five six would be super fun. I love twin fins, bro. Like seriously, this board would be fun as shit. But like the nobody, design is a sick. The d- design know. looks fucking stupid as fuck. Yeah, Just nobody, simple. Nobody, bro. If you ever seen nobody surfboards, nobody has does. Nobody has fucking graphics on the top. Uh, shit, corny gang. Really? Just lame, bro. Bottom? Yeah, bro. First of all, so, you, so when you do tricks or some shit, like nah. But nobody it? really has graphics like that. They just have like the their board. sponsor logos, or the board mm-hmm. is really just plain white. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, like okay. nobody has like logos and shit. That's too much, bro. Got time like I that. said, if you show up with this board to the beach, nigga, you better do a backflip first wave, bro. Or niggas <laughs> are gonna be <laughs> laughing at you the whole time. <laughs> yeah, the Dior suit is crazy. Oh, this is just like pretentious rich nigga they shit. They gonna be like, oh yeah, look, exactly. They gonna be like, yo, look at Kim Kardashian, Whoa. guys. What the Dior fins though. Oh, in their future fins, I might have to get these. Man, that should look. I'll get the. Dior fins though. I'm like the Dior. Fins, I might get the Dior. No, I know what you're talking about because, like, bro, when I was into fixed gear shit, it's like I fucked with like those parts. They're like the little, the crank, right? Shit yeah. that no one pays attention to. But you're like, bro, that's like a you know a discern crank that costs like a thousand dollars or some. And it looks so, super simplistic. I know that has the Dior logo on it, but it's a key part to the function of bro, the board. I just got a new nah. board too. This would go perfect on my because I got bro. future fins on my board, bro. This how much are if you th- buy that? I'm gonna be so upset. Like I'm gonna be, but I'm shredding. Bro. Bro. Why? Why would you be upset? Better Dior items to get than like oh the fins. Dior sock too in the leash. Bro, oh some- my god, I might have to get this. I ain't gonna no. lie. <laughs> you can get some. Sh- that ain't even the cool font. That's cool though. Like see little shit like that. Like the leash, the fins. That's cool, but the board. Way too much. Just like the the board sock that gr- that black thing that's next to it. That's a, like. A, what about the board the board display? Do you a board display? No, that's fucking stupid. Y'all oh, need too much money out here, bro. That's fucking stupid. Oh, I'll let yeah, you tell. Y'all, it. Yeah, no, for real. I'm bro. not gonna be first of all out here buying a Dior fin. I'm definitely a Dior fin because you don't serve in the leash. That I don't shit buy is dope. Dior weed. First of all, do they? They don't have weed. All bro? I have to shit. say is, Dexter got Dior surfboard. <laughs> 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 Dior surfboard. 
Oh, DR wow. surf. Oh my uh, god. Next up, got DR surfboard. Ten thousand dollars for a fucking surfboard. I think you guys I, really want to talk about. This I music. think what we should do, we should end it no. on what we've been listening to though, because me, man, I remember that D baby like crazy. I'm back on it, bro. You gotta hear Martian specifically. I've been high up on the fucking and I feel just like a Martian. And then I need <laughs> love is really good on there, bro. Man, what's I, wrong with this nigga? Hey, but speaking yeah. of music, before we start, bro. Pistols and Whisk. Pearls by Kodak apparently, Black. Apparently, Wiz Khalifa shouted me out on his stream, so shout out to mm, you, Wiz Khalifa. No there way, that is yeah. hard. Can you prove it? Well, I was waiting for the. I don't know. I, I was waiting for the clip, but everybody in our chat was. Everybody in the chat was saying they were saying it. That's hard as fuck. But no, we was trying to get talk to Wiz Khalifa, right? Because he was on stream with AD. So we were like, "Yo, I'm like, yo, chat, go spam this nigga to call me." Ooh. And he was right. like, they didn't call, but he was like, "Yo, shout out to Tux." I was like, "Damn, that's what's up." That's right. What? That's hard. Um, I've been listening to nothing but TTS. For the past <laughs> week, dude. Bro, I was Trip telling you, bro, you have to do your 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 brain a favor and change your fucking your your uh your fucking your TTA blah blah blah. No one's trying to hear that, bro. Every time I hear that, I get stressed out. Like I said, like me personally, I like going between Yuri streams. Like I'll check it like on my way to work. In the morning, like in between things, if I want to listen to music and Yuri's live, I'll watch it. Thank I'm in by for six minutes, but like I appreciate you. For I doing hear that. the Baba Lowski and it bugs me. Like <laughs> I want to sometimes turn off the the audio. <laughs> it's That's, that bad, bro. I, I turned it off and everyone loved it. They you wanted know to you come don't back. like it. I love it. Triple Lowski is a good song. I think it's pretty funny. Or like just like cha- like maybe go like six seconds further after what he says after that part. Oh, just because it's so short of a and little just thing? Can, and keep changing it until the song ends. Yeah. Like, and maybe I, another part, just because it, like, I don't know, bro. Like, that's the shit that they play in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> to torture people? Yeah. Trip by Lowe's. Trip by Lowe's. That shit If they playing at it in the jail, too. jail's turn. Oh. But, uh, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. What have you been listening to, this one? Hey, the man. D-Baby, man. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, listen. Y'all know y'all gotta go check out... The motherfucking sexy red mixtape. I don't know what it's called. Hood's Hottest Princess. Some shit like that. Nigga, this bitch is about to have all the this hoes. Bitch. Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, no, no. no. She, she know, she, I know. I know. I know. I'm just fucking Listen, a dumbass. She's about to have all the hoes being ratchet at every function. Not my bro. bro. <laughs> he said all the hoes. I said the hoes, not your fucking girlfriend. He said he didn't say all women. This, Man, that's this my is, friend says. This is strictly for the ratchet bitches music. Like this shit might turn might turn a good bitch ratchet. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Shit. Like nigga. <laughs> shit. shit. <laughs> bro, listen, listen, listen. I what? went out. I went out. I went out last weekend to fucking apartment 200. Oh, they got fucking LA in a chokehold. But anyway, I went to apartment 200 and they played. What y'all fucking be doing up ski. in there, man? Go home. Go home. Nah, that I'm shit, sorry. I'm sorry. I should have. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It be it be smooth, bro. It's cause like it's a different like it like it feel like a more elevated experience than like going to some random ass bar or some shit like that. Yeah, no, it's that more, place is chill. It's more like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that place is chill. Like, Thank you for inviting me. It's there more that one time. That was dope. It's more smooth. You feel me? Like it's more like you was it invite like, only? It's, fr- it's, yeah. it's it's like you know like. Mm. I don't know. It just it's to be super I'm hard trying to, to get in. I'm shit. trying to like <laughs> refrain from saying that it's badder bitches there. It's like what? cooler niggas. Pop. It's just not as fucking lame and weird as like going to like. I'm some just like and it's, it's literally better living going out. It's but better like, living. The it thing is, is, I've been there. Bro. Living. The if drinks is expensive. Yeah, the drinks is expensive. It's better living going but out. It's better living, bro. The thing bro. is though, like you finna just have like people just walk up to you and be like, not even, bro. Let me sell you. I'm in the cut. Bro, oh, you do no. graphics, my boy. First oh. of all, if you, no. First of all, if you look like a weirdo, they're not even letting you in that motherfucker. You can stand Nigga. outside Fine. all night, ah. all night. That's it's bad up. bitches. They got all standing night. out. They, they, they all they night. They get Nicole. Dude. You out there all night? What? Nigga. So I just let Nick random I, other niggas then in. Then I definitely don't want to be in no shallow ass area like that where they're gonna be like, oh no, nah, you know, you. Nah, if you look weird, because I, I, I know I wouldn't be let in if I wasn't knowing y'all. You feel me, Nigga? They would not. I've only been in once because it's iPhone. So and to be honest. If I didn't host the first night that I went there, I would be outside too trying to figure out how to get in. I tried to figure out how to get in. But now I'm plugged in. Now I'm plugged in. And guess what? Tell me why the nigga at the bar, the one of the bartenders at the bar, names drops fucking uh, puke. 
Wow. And then Nate Puke drops know Puke, everybody. Bro. Almighty Nate drops Puke. Puke and fucking hooks it up the entire night, bro. That's crazy. And oh, that's what? Right. That nigga, and, you and, saved and probably Tiesto. like $500. And Tiesto. Wow. He named y'all Puke and Tiesto that's and crazy. hooked it up. I was like, he shout, probably, out, shout out to you, my nigga. Bro, shout out to my nigga. $500, bro. Nigga, wow. um, nigga, listen, listen. The the one time that I that I bought a round of drinks that was not him involved, nigga, I bought like two drinks and it was like seventy dollars or bro, something. Bro, for like real, I, I was like, where my nigga at, bro? I got him. I got him. <laughs> he go find the homie. I got again. a Modelo. I was like, oh, can I get a? Can, I was like, oh, you got any Mexican beers? They're like, yeah, we got Modelo. I'm like, all right, that's cool. Boom, give me Modelo, and I'm like, they're like, okay, thirty six dollars. Like what? Thirty six dollars for one Modelo? Hey, no, it was, hey, no, but it was like it was like, damn near, it was like extra. I think it might have been like twenty something. I was like, what the though. fuck? From Modelo, dude. That's insane, bro. Nah, no, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna sit my ass home, put some YouTube on, put some Yuri on, and just fucking smoke Thank my you. weed. Yeah, yeah, put some Yuri yeah, on. Appreciate it's you. <laughs> put some Yuri on. Put some Yuri. Hey, but uh, yeah, man. But I want to thank everybody. I feel like this is one of my favorite no, shows. Let's get, in, let's get yeah. into this real quick because I just want to tell Max something. Don't ever put no fucking gunner. On the list. Why not? Bro. We're not listening to that shit. I found out who my real partner, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> who my fib in. I'm out of here. Yo, shout yeah. out to everyone. Yeah, Episode 18. Man. Thank you guys so much. Shout out who, who my real partner, y'all. Oh, we yeah. got a package. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are we still on? Yeah. <laughs> is this, is this I found out who yeah. my real partner is, right, y'all. Yeah. Here, let's go through this real quick. Let's check this out. Yeah, Once you get money, you find out who your real partner is, y'all. Yeah. Why is it be high off the THC and bugging ya? Yeah. I got a cup full of swamp water, yeah. <laughs> it's not swamp water, it's THC. Whoa, what is that? Hockey jersey? Not hockey, I mean uh, soccer. They got the Vita and Guadalupe right there in the front, bro. I need that shit. It says evil. Yeah, I would never wear that. Yeah, I would never wear that. Evil. I found out who my real partner is. saw one item and dipped. <laughs> Wobbled his ass out. Uh, Alright, hold on. Let me see what this is. Shout, Shout out to Evil Vice, man. Yeah, Evil Vice, man. Shout out Evil Vice. I love this logo. This I'm just not a big fan of shirts in this man. material. Like, the logos and everything in design looks cool. Polyester. Polyester and this, like, yeah. Yeah, not a big fan. It's yeah. like 100% polyester. Per se. Shit's per cancerous. Se. No, I'm joking. Alright, oh, so. Oh, those stickers are hard, though. Yeah, the stickers are fire. Yeah, 100% polyester. Look at me, man. I'm getting better. Wow, I know, right? Better. <laughs> All right, yo. So, shout out to um, Evil Vice. He said, what's good, Biggest Bro Entertainment? Here are a few items from my recent drop. Last week, I've been designing in the industry for the past 10 years from the biggest name brands and streetwear to the yeah. biggest artists. This is my first step into doing my own brand. I want to put out a culture-driven image, but also a lifestyle to keep uh, helping uh, the rise of Hispanics in the clothing industry. Uh, yeah. Love what you guys have been doing. Keep uh, keep it going. Added a bunch of pieces and random sizes. Bless to all. Shout out to this dude. His uh, at on Instagram is evil dot vice, and his website is evilvice dot com. If you guys nah, want to go shout check out, out my stuff. boy, you know, uh, evil vice man. Hold on, I'm gonna show every piece, just one of every piece. Well, I want to say one thing first and foremost, man. My, bo my boy got attention to detail. There's not a sticker? part of this whole uh, item that you didn't. Uh, Customize and treat as your own, man. So what shout out to Evil about? Vice. I, I rock hey, with the message. Hey, guys. hey, Evil, 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 Evil Vice. Vice. Evil Vice, keep working, bro. Keep working, bro. This shit is. I'm not gonna lie. The shirt is better than the jersey. Yeah. yeah this shit, I mean, my boy going crazy. We got some pins. The shirts are. It's kind of like Crooks and Castles like logo on the front. Oh, I'm I am a big fan of pins. And not only that, but these uh, these are sick. There's no vice like evil vice. Bro, these are fire. I, like Bro, I, got, are I, got, a, I got this thing where I'm about to start paying, putting a sticker from everybody. Since the, since the sticker, I'm going to put it in my studio and just... Until I fucking just max them out. So. Dude, yeah. these are all super sick. These pins are hella fire. Honestly, like, I, I know that the pin and the sticker world is pretty big because they have, like, they have conventions and shit like that for... Really? Yeah. I'm I had a homie that like, got into it. I'm not gonna lie, their packaging and uh, like yeah, professionalism and all that shit is very good. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. He Bro, stuffed I'm not that. Lie. This shirt, this shirt's this good. Shirt is yeah, that shirt this is fire. Are... I'm telling you, I just didn't like the material of the Gamble other shirt. With this. Oh yeah, it's good. It's like a jersey shirt. Yeah, yeah exactly. Gamble with your life. Come on. <laughs> oh my hard, god, that's, that's hard. hard. I could, I could, I can for sure see you wearing that too. Gamble with us. Gamble with your life. Shout out to Evil Vice, man. These are the ones we already. Why is he gonna spark up or what's up? 
man. Episode 18, man. Yeah. Let's go. Shout out to everyone. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you guys so much. Love y'all. Peace. All right, so. Also, we're still on live on my Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Yeah, I was about to, like, about to, about to be like, ah, oh, feel so good to be a Nazi. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so like, I got this plan. 